What's up, guys? Little Wolf Max S here. We are live. Uh, Invicta 24. I'm going to be reacting, talking about it, all kind of stuff. I believe there's seven fights on the card. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure there's seven fights on the card. So, ask your questions, stuff like that. I gotta get the camera set up right. I need it straightish, straightish. I've got a crazy. I wish you could see the contraction I got so that my camera's kind of straightened up. Or maybe that. That worked. That too much. Hopefully it stays. I'm real bad about knocking cameras off the stand. I'm going to be. This mic is not connected to this. What I'm watching right here, but the mic is connected to uh, the computer over here. So I'm going to be recording the actual reaction to the end of the fight, and then I'll be uploading those separately. Let me just set up uh, my iPad here so that I can answer your questions, because I'm not going to be able to see them on my camera right here. Just give me a second, I'm going to do that. Hopefully it pops up. Hopefully it pops up and then I'm live. There it is. Boom. And then I can just go to the chat on the here. Sun beats down on the show oh, let me. As the Phoenix rises once again over oh, Kansas City, Scottish Rights Center. Pause Rattel. that. And while the road has been topsy-turvy and a bit bumpy, we have finally arrived to Indigenous Not showing up. It is Romero Barella versus Tugaeva. There it is. Boom. Live chat. Welcome to Invicta Fighting Championship. Alright, sweet. First off the top, congratulations. Okay, so live chat's up. Uh, I don't think anybody's watching right now. Let's see. I can't see. We got two people watching. If you got questions, ask them. I don't know really any of these girls on this uh, on this fight. I don't know a whole lot about them, but I'm sure they'll talk about them and blah blah blah. But I mean I I could try. I could make up stuff if you want me to. Where are my shades at? I left my sunglasses outside. I like to wear my sunglasses because it's, it's bright in here. How are you watching the fight? Uh, I have UFC Fight Pass. That's how I'm watching the fight. I'm watching it on um, on the internet. I'm watching it on UFC's page or whatever. Hopefully everything sounds good. Hopefully you can see me well. And hopefully you can hear... The audio presented itself for Milana Dudaeva as well as Italy's Mara Romero Morella. Dudaeva is a UFC veteran fighting at the Bantamweight division. She has to reinvent herself here tonight as a fighter. Mike is not cooperating. It was doing really good earlier. Maybe like right there. I'm going to be moving around a lot though. I wish I could see like all the cameras that are on me right now. There's two. I say all, all the millions of cameras on me right now. There's two cameras on me. But the mic is hooked to the computer, which is what I'm going to be doing the, uh, the, uh, like, actual reactions, where, like, if a girl, like, knocks another girl out, I'm going to be like, oh my god, she just knocked her out, and then I'll upload that to, uh, YouTube, and that'll be connected to the mic. But I'm streaming off my cell phone, which is a Samsung Galaxy J7. I keep trying to lean this over a little bit. How about that? Is that good? That looks good to me. I got some. I got these little bungee things that I buy on military bases. They're awesome. They got like metal rod in them, and I've got my phone like wrapped in them to this. It's so bad. All right. I'm gonna have to go turn the air conditioning up. I got lights here, and it makes it really hot in here. Always stay in motion. Always stay on your side or moving. I'm going to go turn the AC up. Anybody need a beer? Does anybody need a beer? I'm going to get another beer. I'll be back. My noodles got in the way. I'm sure y'all have the same problem. When you pull noodles, they block the door, they get in your way. I'll be back with some fresh beer. You know, the Italian fighter has actually shown some beautiful technique if you look at some of her footage on YouTube, but it's kind of hard to find. Here's what we find from Mara, though. She's got beautiful straight punches, nice right hand. Sometimes she does a double right hand in a row, and it's lightning fast. Um, it's exciting to watch this woman fight, and I'm happy to see her in this event. 
We've scouted her thoroughly. Julie, tell me the keys of victory for Mara Romero Barella. For the Italian fighter to be successful at this point, she needs to use that pinpoint striking, those long reaching punches to establish cage real estate. To not let herself get back up into the cage. Alright, I'm back. Got a fresh beer. And keep the Russian Turn the AC up so it'd be a little cooler in here. Another thing she needs to do is exploit the overhook and MMA holes. What is I don't know what that means. Is that like a cry for like Invicta FC? MMA holes! I guarantee you, you meant to say hoes. But that's wrong, man. That's just wrong. Unless you're a girl, then that's wrong, girl. That's wrong. I did not know before I got the UFC fight pass, I did not know that Invicta, the UFC owned Invicta. I'm out of breath now. I've been running. I, I, I have a two-story house. I had to run downstairs, run back up. It takes a lot out of me. I hadn't done cardio in a minute. Look at that. Like, my camera here has a terrible, awful view. I like to sit like with my legs crossed like this. This is like my favorite. Or this. I do this. And it's just, it looks so bad on camera. But it, that's the way I get comfortable. So I'm going to adjust this camera a little bit. See if that takes a lot of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of that out there. That's cool, man. I understand. The reason why I can't show you these is because they will, they'll block, UFC will block my channel. I'm already blocked by Dana White on Twitter. Like, no lie, Dana White blocked me. But they'll block my channel if I actually show you the video. Now, when it comes to free stuff on YouTube, yes, I'll show you that. Because they're, they're not going to block you. They know everybody's going to be doing it. Yeah, copyright, basically, yeah. They have some good... Oh, you got the fight pass, too. Awesome, Craig. Hey, we got the same name. My real name in real life is Lee. But yeah, the, the copyright thing, <clears throat> I don't think they care so much about, especially if I'm talking during it, I don't think they care so much about just the audio. Because I, I haven't had not one of my uh, my reaction videos live. I've, I've not had one shut down. But my buddy, we were watching a UFC fight and he turned his periscope to watch the TV for a little while. They shut his periscope off, like no lie, I couldn't believe that. The third member of our broadcast team has the info. It is the well traveled Miss Laura Senko. Uh, it looks like they're showing five fights. I thought there was going to be seven. Uh, they catch you on the ring walk music. Be careful. Yeah, they can do that. <clears throat> they haven't got me yet, though. I seriously, while I'm talking, a lot of people get mad because I talk a lot. And I answer y'all, like the people watching live, I'll answer y'all. A lot of people get mad when they watch the replay. They're like, man, you need to shut up. But if I shut up, I'm going to get shut down. Plus, what's the point? Why are you going to just watch me stare at a TV, you know, like this? Why are you going to watch me do that? So I got I to gotta entertain y'all. I got to talk from my mouth. Laura Senko is a sexy chick. Which one is she? That girl looks scary. I don't know who that is. One of the best showcases uh, are you talking about the blonde? There was a, they just showed a blonde that was pretty good looking. FC debut on this This thing does not want to sit up. I think that's going to be good right there. Oh, uh, DG, what's up, man? I'm watching Invicta FC. The UFC owns it. If you remember, um, God, what was it called? Uriah Faber and all them fought on it. And then the UFC bought it and they kept it around for a little while and then they kind of like brought it into the UFC. That's kind of the way that uh, Invicta is. It's like a small fight promotion that the UFC bought. I think they're going to dismantle it because that's what they've done with everything like pride and all that. They're eventually going to dismantle it and take the fighters that they want. If you are a fan of Invicta FC, I don't need to tell you how big our pole Oh, the lady, yeah, that, that lady that they just showed is pretty smoking hot. I found the stream. Yeah, Stella Head. I mean, you're not going to see the video. I won't show the video because they will shut the, the, 
They'll shut the live stream down and they'll shut like my YouTube video down. So I won't show the video, but I will show the audio and I'll talk about it and I'll react to it, all that kind of stuff. What is that? A VIP box? Is that like a? Uh, that's probably like a computer app or something you can go watch a live stream. Okay, so take over Friday. Yeah, I, I figure I'm gonna start doing a lot because I love MMA, I love boxing, and I like I watch a lot of it. So I'm like, why don't I just start, people seem to semi-like it, I guess. So why don't I just start watching these fights and talking about it. I'll uh, sync your stream with the live stream I found, mute their audio. They I, will, I don't cuss, but I will say that. Just because it's so funny, it's like, uh, are you are you from England still ahead or, or somewhere like that? That's kind of the way they, they, they said curse words. It's still hot up here. I turned my AC on. It's still hot up here. It's these lights. Like, check out these lights. These things, they look expensive. They're like the photography lights, but I got them really cheap on Amazon. I got them for $60. But they put off a lot of heat. Another word for garbage, yeah. Liverpool, UK. I kind of figured. I've been to uh, Cambridge, England. I've been to uh, Mildenhall, which is an Air Force base, but they have a small town there, which was awesome. Love England. I tell people that all the time. They're like, where's your favorite place to travel to? I'm like, England or Scotland? I've been all over the Pacific. I've been to like all the Asian countries. England or Scotland is my favorite place. What's up, Dry Bones? Good to see you, man. I haven't seen you in a while. Out of Orlando, yeah, I look like a flashlight stuck in an umbrella. That's no lie. Basically, what it is. Check this out. No lie. It really is. It's an umbrella. Like, if you can see it, no lie, it's an umbrella. Isn't that funny? And it's a, it's a light behind it. But I mean, like the background and and It's got the stand and like it comes with really nice light bulbs. I'm Scottish by birth. Live in the best city in the UK. I have the best of both worlds. That's awesome, dude. The Scottish people were so nice. Like, we're walking around, we're a bunch of idiot Americans walking around lost. And this old lady comes up to us and she's like, you're lost, aren't you? And we're like, yeah, how'd you know? And she's like, you want to go to a bar, don't you? And we're like, holy crap, this lady's a psychic. And she like pointed at it. She's like, there's a bar right there, one right there, or pub. Don't they call them pubs? But they're like, pub, pub, pub. She's like, y'all have fun, see you later. Boom. I was like, dude, that's awesome. I'm very excited. I think it's really time for I'm out of beer. To see what I'm actually capable of. Hopefully this don't go too long because I'll be plastered. When I talk a lot, I drink a lot of beer. It's just a habit. Like if I'm not doing a live stream, I'll probably have like one, two beers a night or every so often, you know what I mean? When was the last time you saw a good wrestling match? You talking about like WWE or like Olympic wrestling? If you're talking WWE, I haven't watched WWE in a while. But I'm still, you know, the guys I watch, like Stone Cold and all them, they're old now. Yeah, okay, WWE. They're old now and they have podcasts. I love listening to their podcasts because they kind of give you like a behind the scenes of what was actually going on, like The Rock and all them. I like Stone Cold. I can't remember Stone Cold, Steve Austin's podcast name, but I do listen to it. I really like his podcast. They're really good. He's like a real, I know he's like a, a, a fake wrestler or whatever. I say that like with respect, but uh, he's like a real dude. When you listen to his podcast, he has cool people on there. He's like a real dude. It'd be awesome to sit down with him and hang out with him, you know? Whereas a lot of those wrestlers are weird. You know, like celebrities, superstars, they're weird. Uh, Amy Coleman just walked out. I guess she's the underdog since she's walking out first. I don't know anything about Amy Coleman. Let's see if I can look up or something. Amy Coleman. Yeah, Stone Cold's podcast is cool. And all WD is fake, but Stone Cold keeps it real. That's what I'm saying. Like, Stone Cold, 
Even though you know it's fake, Stone Cold seems like a real dude. Did you watch the World Tour PC? Mayweather, what's your prediction? Oh, yes, I did. Uh, Stella had. I did. You can, if you subscribe to my channel, you can go look at the videos. Uh, the last one, the London one that, that was in England, me and my buddy watched it. He sat here and we watched it together. It, it was pretty freaking hilarious. I think Connor kind of stole the show, but in the actual fight, I, I'm. I'm so certain that Mayweather's going to win. I'm sorry. There's no way. Mayweather was engineered since a kid to box. There's no way Conor McGregor's going to put on boxing gloves in his first boxing match and beat one of the greatest defensive fighters of all time. Let's see. The Toronto one was, the, the Toronto one was hilarious. That one was very funny. The, the England one was good for Conor. Mayweather didn't really look that great. The Brooklyn one was kind of weird for both of them. Mayweather, I think he still won it. And then the first one was kind of weird for both of them, but uh, Connor seemed unprepared. Felicia Spencer. I guess she's supposed to win because she's coming out last. Oh, I was supposed to look up uh, Amy or whatever. But yeah, my prediction... I want to say it's going to go 12 rounds, Mayweather by decision. That, I think he's going to play it safe so that he can get that 50th win and he can still kind of retain his dignity and then kind of propel Connor into superstar status. Because if Connor even lasts one round, he wins. Like, no lie. That's, it's, I mean, you got this nobody, basically, when it comes to, like, boxing, fighting the god of boxing. So if Connor can even last one round, he's won in his world, you know what I'm saying? Still stuck on the strippers on his payroll. Dude, that was hilarious. Got the strippers on his payroll. I love when he gives them a shout out. That, that's hilarious. That's why I just adjusted myself. That's why I gotta fix the camera. <laughs> it's just a dude thing, but like if females get on here, they're gonna be like, oh my god, I'm offended. Let's see if I can adjust it up or if it'll fall off the stand. It is hanging on by thread. Let's see. Is that better? That's the same exact thing that it was. <laughs> Maybe. Dude, I wish you could see this setup. It is so rigged. Boom. How about that? Does that look? I think that looks good. Uh, shout out to all. Oh, I can't. I can't cuss, but that's funny, Joseph. I think Floyd will run around the first few rounds and wait for Connor to get tired. That DG, that's kind of the way. If I had to bet money, that's kind of the way I would bet money. Connor getting tired and then Floyd TKOing him. I don't think Floyd's gonna knock him out, but Floyd TKOing him. Yes, I could see that. <laughs> All right, they're both in the ring. Felicia Spencer, she's got a 2-0 record. From Orlando, Florida. We were close to Orlando. Me and, uh, if you know Death From Above, I know Dry Bones does. Y'all go check out Death From Above X. Uh, if you play video games, he's really, really entertaining. So y'all go check him out. We go to Florida every year for the Guardian Con thing or whatever, Destiny Con. I don't know much about it, but <laughs> death does. Amy Coleman and Felicia Spencer inside the cage. So we were we were in we were near Orlando uh, a couple weeks ago. All right, they're coming out, touching hands, and they're already sweet. They touched hands and swung at the same time. Ooh, ooh, hip toss. That's like a Ronda Rousey hip toss. All right, Coleman's in the gray. I don't know either of these girls. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to start this recording here. The reaction recording. Pretty good up kicks. I've noticed that the females, when they're on their back, they will up kick way more than the males. Her box for the pay-per-view in the state is to watch a debut boxer against Kyle Brown Grace. This show, save your money, and watch a free screen. I'm paying the money, dude. We're going to have a big party. If you subscribe to my channel... 
you might hear the audio from the fight, and we'll be reacting to it. We're not going to film the fight, but. I live in Florida, Jacksonville, and that's how the group stand. I had to move to Marvel counter. My goodness, dude. Moving Marvel? Marvel's freaking heavy for how, like, you could take a piece of marble like this, it's freaking heavy. And I couldn't imagine 95 degrees. Like, I'm in, I'm in Alabama, so I'm not that far. But, uh, I couldn't imagine doing that in that kind of weather. I'll be linking that stream to my flat screen. Awesome, uh, still. This is where Felicia Spencer does very nice work with the looks like... Felicia is on top of Coleman, I think that's her name. Beating her head in with elbows. I gotta make sure my mic's good for the other other screen. Got back to her uh, back to her feet. And you can see why Tony Evans is a fan of Felicia Spencer, always throwing offense here in any position of his defense, whether it's punches or as we even saw a moment ago. They're just clinching right now. When it comes to like, when it comes to the uh, the women, the like lower classes, not like the top of the top, but the lower classes, they do a lot of clinching and wrestling, which is fine. I mean, if that's their strong suit, like the men, even the lower class and classes, they come out and they'll box for at least a minute before shooting for a takedown or pressuring on the fence. From what I've seen, I could be 100% wrong about that. Uh, was at least 400 pounds. The customer was acting. What are you talking about, DG? Dude, if it, I was thinking it was going to be 150 dollars for the pay per view for the Conor McGregor Floyd Mayweather pay per view. When they said 95 dollars, I was like, okay, that that's at least that's, that's high, but it's at, at least reasonable. Destroyer Worlds, anyone here? Link to the live stream. Yeah, hey, if you want to stream it live, the, oh wow, she's got her in a rear naked choke. Ooh, Coleman's in a rear naked choke right now. She's gonna tap. That's it. She's gonna, she's tapping. Wow. Wow, that was quick. The Phenom, Vitor Belfort. All right, sweet. I'll have to edit that video later and upload it. So I'm streaming here and I'm filming on my computer, and I'm gonna cut these videos up for reaction videos to fights, and now I'm all blown. The stream is almost perfectly sync sync with your stream. That's awesome. Oh, what I was saying, Destroyer Worlds. Uh, if y'all want to go click on his and actually watch the fights, that's cool. But like. I'm saying I'm not going to do it just because I don't want this video shut off. It was like, I remember the uh, Mayweather-Pacquiao fight. Um, I didn't want to, because I really didn't care. I was like, man, they're both old. I don't really care about the fight. Uh, so I didn't live stream it, but I, I, I tried to. Like, I tried to find it somewhere. Somebody pirating it, you know what I'm saying? And I couldn't find it. I finally found where a guy was just talking round for round. Kind of like I'm doing now. I found that, and I enjoyed it. Uh, but I, I wasn't going to pay that money for Mayweather Pacquiao. Make football videos editing this morning. Yeah, dude. That's why I try to do, like... I try and do it quick. I try and cut and make these videos at least like 30 seconds, you know what I mean? To where whoever wants to watch me react, they're not going to have to sit through me, like right now. They're not going to sit through me talking and all that. They want to see me be like, oh my God. And that's fine. I'll upload them. Joe Rogan does the same thing. He puts a timer in the corner for each round. You know, that's, a, I really like that he does that. Laura Cinco, she is hot. Somebody said she was hot earlier. She is pretty attractive. But yeah, Joe Rogan, you would think Joe Rogan would get shut down for what he's doing because he has the audio in the background and he has the countdown. 
I would like to figure out a way to get the uh, countdown timer for the rounds. That would be really cool. He also has a big production company behind him or whatever. I, I'm just a guy in my room watching this on a computer, you know what I mean? I know that dude that's sitting next to that girl. There's a girl in the the crowd that the girl that just won, she's kind of talking to or whatever. I know the dude that's sitting next to him, he's a coach, but I can't remember his name. Her daughter was here tonight for her first time watching her mom compete, so a very special win on a variety of levels. Oh, there it is. I have two screens, and it's weird. You'll click on something, it'll pop up on like the bottom screen. Like you'll click on something on the bottom screen, it'll pop up on the top, and you're like, where, is, where did it go? It's a rematch we've all been waiting for. As Daniel Poirier picks oh, up John Jones, <laughs> playing that back. Light heavyweight championship. UFC 214 from Anaheim, Saturday, July 29th. It's ten days set for the West, only on pay per view. Dude, I like. I don't. What's it called when Joe Rogan does that? When he does the live stream uh, of him in the fight? Isn't it called like. It's called something. He usually has uh, Brennan Schaub on there. I can't remember what that's called, but I really do like that. And that's a good idea. Like, if I'm not willing to stream, I should do that. I should link up his to, like, the actual the fights because I like his commentator. Uh, commentary. How do you say words? What are words? Uh, Stella says he has one guy in the background on laptop. It's just overlay on his video. You have to start manually yourself for each round. So it's probably not practical. Yeah, if I had, like, which is not going to happen, you know what I'm saying? I'm not... I have a really good job, so I do this for fun. So I'm not gonna hire some dude and start a business, like have some dude sitting over the corner like doing that, you know what I'm saying? This whole thing, like, this whole thing for me is not about like, it's fun getting the views and getting the comments. I love the comments the most. I love talking with people about what they love or whatever. But like, it's not about that for me. It's, it's seriously about having fun. And I, I built this kind of studio setup I got so like my friends, when if they want to, they can come over. I had a, a buddy watching the uh, stream, the uh, press conference yesterday. He was here. We had fun, drink beer. That To me, that's what this is about. This is about having fun. I have an actual job that, that I make good money doing, so I, I focus more on that. But for, like this, I don't really put a whole lot into editing and all that stuff just because it's fun for me. I'm an MMA fighter fighting out of Reykjavik, Iceland. Iceland? Fighting Kelly Piangelo. Really good. If you get on Netflix, really good documentary. I think it's called Giants of Iceland or something like that. Really, It's about like the strong men of Iceland, like the big, strong dudes, whatever. Really good documentary. I can't remember what I was doing. What was I doing? I know what I was doing. Kelly Piangelo, she's a hometown girl. And, uh, Carol. a firefighter. So we're there a we firefighter. When you get dispatched to something, we don't necessarily know what we're going to. Huh. No matter what the dispatch is, she's kind of attractive. Different situation. When you go in that cage, you have no idea what your opponent's. That's that's what's funny. Like, some people don't. Also, know guys, I had I was trying to find the camera for a second. I'm the one that's. Oh, that's old. But I do not know what That's what's funny about dudes. Like, dudes are like, she's kind of attractive. Girls want to see them smash each other's head in, you know, but like dudes are like, she's attractive, I'll watch this fight. I really as hard as I can. Wherever the fight goes, I'm very comfortable. Dude, if it... Okay, sweet. I found what I'm looking for, guys. I'm just going to have to go back and remember these girls' names. It's easy to go in and fight my fight. Which I guess, I guess I could do it while they're running their mouths on here. Make sure I have fun. A lot of people forget about that part. Make sure to have fun. What we got? Uh, the the sauna is stunning. Who is that? Forty five years old. Anything with skirt is attractive. I'm getting there, man. I'm thirty two. I'm getting to where like, dang, that girl's got all her limbs. She's got both arms, both legs. She's got hair on her head. I'll go talk to her. It doesn't really matter. Angelo making her 
DG Productions. Yeah, after me and my friend got the marble counter up there, I looked at him and said, looked at him and said hard. Uh, he was like, easy work. Ha, did y'all start doing that? Hard work. Hard work. Work it easy work. <laughs> That's funny, dude. I'm going to have to do, nobody will, like, okay, so I'm in the military. Nobody will know what I'm talking about because they don't really watch, they don't watch this stuff like I do. I grew up watching boxing. I grew up watching uh, Mike Tyson, uh, Lennox Lewis. I grew up watching boxing, so like I love this stuff. I love watching fights, all that. My buddies, they're like the casual viewers. That they'll be like, you know, oh, oh, uh, Loner Mc McSnagger. It's like, you mean Conor McGregor? And they're like, yeah, yeah, that dude from, uh, he, yeah, he's from Australia. Yeah, he's a bad dude. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? I, the casual fans are the people that I work with. So when I go in there and do stuff like that, like I goof off, uh, I'm like, hard work. They just look at me crazy. They have no clue what I'm talking about. I'm branching in. I didn't say that, DG. I did not say that. <laughs> Uh, I'm in the Air Force. I like how I had to think about it for a second. What branch am I in? All I know is I, I put some work clothes on and then I go work. That's kind of like no lie. That's kind of the way like people in the military get. They're like, man, I don't, I don't know where I'm at. I don't know what time it is. I just go to work and they pay me. Was technically last week in Las Vegas, Invicta FC carries on that theme here tonight. We mentioned that British, is that the British flag or am I way off? I don't think that's the British, that's the Iceland flag. And I don't know, I'm way off. I'm not good with my flags, I need to be better with that. Earlier this year, it's on a short list for, you know, who was the last fight? Do y'all remember the last fight? So, so I can just uh, name this video. From the last fight, it was Amy Coleman. I'll do that. Amy Coleman. Versus. What was the other girl's name? I can't remember the other girl or other girl's name. No, I'm not a pilot. I'm actually an aircraft mechanic. You have somebody there who's I do. I, I fly on the planes quite often, but I am not a pilot. I don't fly them. I fly on them. I work on uh, cargo planes. Amazing job. That's the only reason I've traveled the world is because of the Air Force. Amazing job. I always wanted like I wanted to be able to travel the world, see different cultures, see how they do. So I, I joined the Air Force, and that's all I've done. I've been everywhere, and it's crazy because they pay you. Oh, my cousin just sent me. I, I forgot to turn notifications off on my phone, so the phone might vibrate every once in a while because people will be sending me stuff. And I hate it for them because they're like, why is he ignoring me? Hey, man, we got fights on, and I'm streaming. But seriously, Amy Coleman versus who? I, I could look it up. I'm being lazy right now. It, was it? No, it wasn't Jessica. Amy Coleman versus... I'll just hit that. It wasn't Jessica. Jessica. Her name, Donkey, Amy Donkey Kong Coleman. What was that girl's name? Versus in Vic. Uh, I need to, uh, I got over 2,000 hours log and everything from a boss plane to a year of fire jet. That flight slim. <laughs> the flight slim. <laughs> that for a second there, I was like, okay, I, I could see the bi plane, and then you said you're a fighter, and I was like, this guy's lying. <laughs> Only 17, by the way, if you were wondering. No, I was not wondering. <laughs> but no, that's cool. Introducing to your first. <laughs> oh, my Corbin! A mixed martial artist standing five feet two inches tall, weighing an officially one hundred fifteen and one quarter pounds. She stands perfect in two bounds. Two Just see that? No I got a ghost in here. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri. Here is the undefeated Kelly D'Angelo. I just looked up Invicta. And her opponent across the cage, coming out of the red corner, also a mixed martial artist. She stands five feet three inches tall and weighs officially one hundred fifteen pounds. Ah, I'm gonna have to go she to UFC. Perfect in two bouts with two victories. Finally got a Reykjavik, Iceland. Here is the undefeated Suna. Suna. I can't. Is it Sigor? 
Cigar? I'm gonna call you Rob. Cigar. Rob says, go Sunna! Hopefully. Let's see if she wins. I don't know either of these girls. Let's see if she wins. It is Kelly D'Angelo making her Invicta FC debut against the veteran Suna David's daughter. A lot of fans here tonight inside the Scottish Come out. The Tusk These girls look exactly, exactly the same. They're both, they're both the same size. Ooh, wow, they're tagging each other. And to the clinch. Up against the fence. They both look the same. They both got cornrows and they're both blonde. That's funny. They seriously look like twins fighting. Tomorrow night at a special time, UFC is live from Glasgow, right. Scotland, and Iceland's Peter Nelson and Argentina's Santiago Ponsonidio will meet in a welterweight battle. Plus, Joanne Calderwood faces undefeated... Have I ever been knocked out? No, I have not. I was very close to getting knocked out one time. I boxed uh, at an amateur gym for about a year, and I was very close to getting knocked out one time. A very nice cross face and some blows from D'Angelo. D'Angelo is able to spin off when she pushes against the head, when she's able to kind of utilize a brace Ooh. against the head. Oh, girl, just tag her. God, they're going at it. They're on their feet. Going at it. Oh, I forgot the... There we go. We got to start that. They know a lot. They're on their feet standing in the middle of the ring trading shots. That's awesome. Looking at D'Angelo's posture here, her head movement, her hand movement, is this reminiscent of what you Gunner, who you talking about? Gunner Nelson? And the way she punches off Cigar? The side, she Cigar? The there. I got choked out by my mom's she best friend when I was 14 years old, okay. thinking I was invincible. Boxing. Now, I've been choked out before, because I have an older brother, and my dad would wrestle with us a lot, and that was like the move. And take my back and choke me out. I've had that happen. I've passed out from getting choked out, but I've never been knocked out. Gunnar Nelson, yes, I do. I like Gunnar Nelson. I like his demeanor. I like his fighting style. I like how he just doesn't care. You could stick a gun to Gunnar Nelson's head, and he would just just continue doing whatever he was doing before. Ooh, good leg kid. Superman punch. Uh, I, I do expect her to try to do that, but honestly, David Sauter was doing very well in the clinch against the cage. I expect her to try to employ something to get D'Angelo in that position once more. D'Angelo is doing a nice job with her head movement and off angle a little bit. She ate some shots. I keep spelling him Victor. Right right a nice right hand by D'Angelo goes through. Halfway point around at one. I think that's it. I think that's what I'm looking for. No, I do not want to scream it twice. Um, Pause that trick. Get out of here. And you can see she's reading for some of those um, outside leg kicks from Suna to be able to fire down the middle with those punches. Looks like David Sauter thought about shooting in for a takedown. Ooh, nice shot there. Ooh, elbows! My goodness. And driving her up against the fence is where David Sauter wants to be. We mentioned in Dude, he really is. Gunnar Nelson is one of the. He's like. He reminds me of Fedor Elmenko. So calm, dude. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's seriously like when he fights, it's like he's taking a stroll through the park. Ooh, somebody is bleeding. Somebody is bleeding bad. There's a lot of blood pouring onto the mat. Ooh, they're about, ooh, they're about to break. I don't see how these girls ain't knocked each other out. They are throwing. One of them's bleeding pretty bad. Ooh, good leg kick. Arthur Abram, Chris Eubank, junior fight. No, I did not. How did it go? Staying engaged with each other, disengaging and coming right back at it. To go here. First time watch this guy, he deserves subscribe. Appreciate it, man. Um, I've been trying, like on YouTube, I've been trying to find what I'm good at. And I think I found what I'm good at, which is watching people punch each other in the face and me run them out. <laughs> the name like Gunner, he should be, yeah, that's an awesome name. Gunner Nelson. She needs to stay composed and be confident with those strikes because if she doesn't sit down on those punches, that could open up a takedown by David Stone. That's cool. They show tweets. Dan Hardy just tweeted, taking a break from UFC Glasgow research to watch Invicta. It's easy to use that sometimes. 
That's cool. They show the tweets like, ooh, she's got elbow hardcore. Like, bad. Here's a question. <laughs> Come on, DG. I can't answer that. I can't answer that. I'm, kill I'm blowing the mic right now. I can't answer that, DG. <laughs> yeah, y'all do that in the chat. I'll accept it. Do it in the chat. Here, I'll type in the chat. It won't let me. It keeps correcting me. I love how it auto corrects me. They are, you know, TJ, something they tell you usually is that every time I fight, every time I compete, I find more Kelly. She really finds this as a way. I don't even know if that's how you spell Whatever. It's auto correcting me, so whatever. <laughs> Isn't that funny how in the chat it puts a crown on me? King Luna Wolf, him success! <laughs> you bank retain the IBO super middleweight. With a, uh, what's the MD? Main decision? What's that? <laughs> hey, there it is! <laughs> bow tie! I was trying to, I like the bow tie. <laughs> Uh, majority decision. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. You talk to it. I just watch people punch each other in the head. And I'm like, oh, hey, oh that's cool. Alright, round two. Here we go. Get at us on Twitter. Use the hashtag InvictaFC24. At TJ Sanis. At Jules K. What was the. It was Amy Coleman versus. Was it last one. It's not showing up on UFC. It must have been a last minute fight. Because it is not showing up on the roster. She's trying to wait for that range to hit, but I like the way these um, fighters are using different entries. Let's look up Amy Coleman news. Both ladies landing their shots on the feet. Do you favor the punching ability in one over the other right now? Should one of them look to, to change up the pace? You know, I'm not sure, TJ. I think they're, they're both striking pretty hard. I think oh, wow. It's not even bringing it up. Counter strikes are doing a very, it's bringing very up some lawyer. So oh, take down. Diving underneath those for those takedowns or that clinching action. So I think that she needs to I'm not fussy so long as... Yeah, you gotta have one or the other. Unless like they're in shape, you know what I mean? Like they got abs and all that, and that that's cool. Amy Newman Newts. <laughs> no, but I guarantee that's probably what would pop up. Amy Donkey Kong Coleman. Show me who she's beat. Okay, I uh, just showed it and it took it away. Now I got an ad popping up. Kill me. Felicia Spencer was the girl's name. It's like a game show. Oh, sorry, caller. We were looking for Felicia Spencer. I'll put that. Alright, so I can forget about that now. Sweet. I had to go to Share Dog to figure out who the girl was she fought. The internet did not want me to know. Alright, I don't know either of these girls' names. I want to tell you, one girl's on bottom and one girl has side control. But they're wearing, they're both wearing black. So it's almost like, how do you, how can you tell who's who? They both have blonde yeah, hair, they both got cornrows. Cross face um, was giving her a little bit of trouble. She was able to weather through that and get to full mount and then lose the full mount. Now she's in half guard. Um, but she, she was kind of, the, the defense that D'Angelo is putting up is not that right. They're trying to brace her away, trying to get her away. D'Angelo needs to stay in action right here. She needs to stay in motion. She's trapping that right leg with her legs, but she also needs to address what's happening. There we go. All right, sweet. The upper body of Sue. Red and blue wrist. For, oh, yeah. All right. Well, they don't post that, though. They don't post. They try and post like the fighters, uh, what they're wearing, the colors they're wearing. I wish they would go off that. I wish they would go off like this girl has the blue wrist wraps, this girl's got the red wrist wraps. But they don't, they go off what they're wearing, which makes no sense, especially when they're both wearing black. I can't find the live stream, so I'm watching you. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, they're, the UFC is probably going around, or uh, is Zufa, the big company. They're probably going around shutting down all the live broadcasts of the actual stream. You, you've got the, ooh, elbows to the side of the head. I was going to say, you've got the full mount, and you're not doing anything with it. There we go. Those elbows. My goodness. Those elbows are actually a wonderful thing to utilize, especially if somebody goes 
Yeah, she is killing her with those elbows. The stream is HD and stable. Oh, Stella has? Yeah, you post in the comments. I don't care if they want to actually watch the actual fight. Audio will get you shut down. I've never had I thought that, but I've never had it happen. Never had the audio get... I've never been shut down just because of audio. I think if I wasn't talking so much, playing the audio, yes, I would probably be shut down, but I, I, I can't stop running my mouth. Those elbows she's throwing from the top, that is ridiculous. What are you saying, Craig? We did the MMA holes. She's just dumb. I, I can't remember. The, it's not showing their names right now. It's just showing how many. There's 30 seconds to go in round two. Ooh, she's going to try. Oh, she almost took an arm. Those elbows, dude. She's going to be ugly by the end of the night. She is killing her with those elbows. This is a very dominant round for David Starr. Yeah, she's just smothering this girl. She's trying to choke her now. She's trying to move up on Chuck's too late. He ain't got enough time. She is absolutely exhausted to be on the bottom because you know you have to stay in motion. Stay in motion when somebody is hitting you is not actually that easy. Sometimes you want to just block those punches and then you want to break to happen. But staying in motion actually is the best way to block punches when you're on your back like that. And momentum is everything in a fight. Now going into the third round, obviously the fight will start on the feet. You'll see the Angela try to land strikes and volume that she has earlier in the fight, but she's got to be wary of that takedown. All right, all right, all right. All right. She's going to teach her strike to the Where are you from? I am from Birmingham, Alabama. Sweet home, Alabama. Get that takedown. I think she's going to play exactly the same strategy in the third round. I think that D'Angelo is going to be a little bit more savvy to it this time, but it depends on that momentum. You see, she was throwing that right hand. Suna dropped her level. Yeah, that girl dominated. Suna, is that her name? Suna? Somebody was pulling for Suna on here. It, it was you, wasn't it? Sigour? I don't know how to say your name. Antoine Sigour? Uh, pretty sure it was Suna. Yeah, it's Suna. Okay, now I know the difference. I don't know the other girl's name, but I do know who Suna is. Her hair is a little bit darker. Suna dominated round two. Yeah, no, I don't believe D'Angelo would ever try to yeah, be inactive. I think she always wants to be in motion. She loves fighting. She it's American loves, Contagious. I was watching the Calligraphy Stampede radio out. last right night, tonight. It was nine ball. Really I'm worried I might have caught him. American Anitis? American Anitis? You might have, dude. This fight very well could be one and one upper grounds here. Round number three. Sunny Davis. Ooh, Sonny. she's got a clock. Oh, Sunny or Sunny or whatever. She's going to take a couple of steps there. You know, she's, she's staying out of range right now. She's doing a really good job. She's hitting the girl on the feet. She's pressing the girl. She's in this punch position. D'Angelo very rightly pushes out and um, tries to recenter. Suna Davis out of comes to the center of the ring and again puts her on the end of those kind of aggressive forward movements. I feel like there's going to be a, a knockout. I mean, these girls are stepping in and tagging each other. I'm lost, so you're Luna and she's Suna and I want Tuna. You need to start rapping. She be Luna, I be Suna. Well, no, that would be. She be Suna, I be Luna. We eat tuna. <laughs> That girl looks beat up. The girl Suna is beaten up. She looks pretty beat. She's getting beat up. Ooh, she just caught another. That Suna's killing her. Boom! I love how she hits her, lands a shot, and goes for that takedown. Always making her think about that takedown. I think that's why she's doing so well on the feet. She's making that other girl think think about the takedown. Get Luna some tuna. <laughs> I do have, if you go to uh, SoundCloud and look up Luna Wolf from XS, same name as my YouTube, I do have, I've rhymed before on some beats that I made. There's also a whip you have for her just pressing D'Angelo up against the fence. Yeah, you 
know, fight, uh, judges don't like to see fighters. Osuna is tearing that girl up, dude. She is tearing her up. She's doing very well as she's reading kicks and she's punching and she's not doing that for this fight. It would be very simple. I have to call a beer run here in a minute. I'm going to have to pick those. I like how I'm being like, like a boss. I'm going to have to go pick those up later. <laughs> Got this two minutes, down I mean, it, it could ten be seconds in round three. So oh, Suna is killing this girl. The only thing that's going to win the other girl to fight is if she can knock out or submit Suna. Oh, my dear Lord, you have a mixtape. I don't want to set my phone on fire. It's all right, man. I'm not like full of myself. I get embarrassed when I play like my raps for other people, you know. But it's all right. If you go to SoundCloud, Luna Wolf from XS, um, I've been doing podcasts lately. I want to do more podcasts. But if you kind of go back, there I have beats that don't have any uh, lyrics to them, and they're actually pretty decent beats. If I say so myself. What strength is that beer? It's a uh, 4.6. 4.6 alcohol. Cahaba is a brewing company that's like right down the street. Ooh, that Suna girl is tearing her up. But yeah, Cahaba Blonde is the name of the beer. If you could order it, dude, I'm telling you, it is a very good beer. It's like a, a light lager or whatever. Really good beer. Got good taste. Gunner is going to dominate his opponent corner. Oh, uh, Sigour, I hope I'm saying that right. I'm going to be streaming that tomorrow, too. Sunday, I will be streaming that tomorrow. The uh, the UFC Fight Night or whatever. Ooh, good takedown. Suna, it's over. Suna's got this. Do you use FL Studio for Beach? No, actually, uh... I can't remember what it's called. You have to get back with me on that DJ because it's on my phone. I can't remember the name of it. I used the uh, the phone for my beats, and then I use another uh, app which I don't have it anymore on my computer. I use it for uh, I use it for audio. Now that I have a mic again, because my other mic broke. It's somewhere around here. Now that I have a mic again, uh, I'm going to start doing more rapping. I love saying that. I will start doing more rapping. That's it. Here we go to the decision. The hug. they hugging each other. That Suna girl whooped her. She's one of the best division in women's mixed martial arts. A lot of fighters from 150 pounds have moved on. Stella is, oh, yeah, Stella Artois. Is going to continue with Stella's my beer of choice. Stella's the main 5% volume. Has the, has the nickname in the UK of the white beater. Why does it have that nickname? That's a terrible nickname. <laughs> you know, I, I love Stella, though. I'm, I'm a big fan of Stella. It's so, here it's so expensive, though. It really is, you know, I... Even though I say that, the we have a lot of craft breweries in uh, Birmingham. A lot of craft breweries. Those beers are so expensive. They're good, though. This ain't real Dragon Ball Z. This ain't real. Dragon Ball Z is the real. You know, I love Dragon Ball Z. They got a good, um, they got a good shirt that I want to buy. It's got, uh... Uh, from both these Gohan's the oldest, right? Any of the dad? Is it Gohan or Goku? I can't remember which one's the dad. They got the dad. He's sitting on a cloud, kind of like slumped over. I want that shirt so bad. I love Dragon Ball Z. I grew up on Dragon Ball Z. Can't pronounce my name right. They try to pronounce. All right, I'm gonna try. Yeah, I'm gonna try to pronounce it like with, with like I'm a, I'm world traveled. No, but here we go. Decision. It went to the decision. Here we go. I think my girl Suna has got this. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Henry Gary has it 30 to 26. Brett Miller and Ross Swanberg both have it 30 to 27. All for your winner by unanimous decision. She is still undefeated. Yup. Yup. Suna and Luna. Suna and Luna. Suna David Stoner storms her way to another unanimous decision. David Stoner. I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry, guys.
for her oh. everyone watching at home in Iceland. She will speak with our Laura Sanko. All right, I'm here with Suna. Suna God, I'm going to have to look these up later. Later. I'm going to have to look these up later and, and be able to pronounce their names. We're going to see the best version of you yet. You trained very hard with Jojo Calder. All right, what we got? This is the name of the town in Wales. Crap breweries? What are you talking about? <laughs> Goku is the dad. Okay, so Goku. It's an awesome shirt with Goku kind of slumped over. And he's on a cloud, you know what I'm saying? Like he's floating. I can't remember the, like, I remember the episode, but he's kind of slumped over. Really cool shot. I want that shirt. Like if you if you see me right now, I'm wearing the uh, G Watt Trap Lords. Uh, I can't remember the name of the company. Let's see. Should have it on. Uh, OAF Nation. That's it. OAF Nation. G Watt Trap Lords. It's a. Uh, can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. It's Abraham Lincoln with night vision, like the current night vision on. It's awesome. Dude, I love shirts like this. You're just like, why would you wear that? <laughs> yes, fam is lit. Okay, try to pronounce this. Do a look up with the bougie. I got bougie out of that. Any messages back for your fans in Iceland? All right, uh, what was I doing? Is that the one? Uh, in Iceland, in Glasgow. Iceland. 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 What's it called? Uh, so, y'all check me out, man. Check me out. Why is this not deleted? I meant to delete that. Like, I don't know what this girl's saying. She's from, like, Iceland or something. Alright, sweet. So, I know that one. Boom. Rename. What was that girl's name? Suna. Suna. Excellent performance. Ladies and gentlemen, Suna Luna. Suna David's daughter. I don't know how to say it. How do you say that? Suna David's daughter. Google search Sloan's name, Taylor Wells. I'm not messing. It's honestly what a copy. There's no way, dude. No way. There's a name of... The style of perform perform There's no as the name of the city Solid like that. Again by the if so, then the pot is show. legal in that city. If there's a city that's got a name that long, pot's legal in that city. I swear. It's a rematch we've all been waiting for. As Davey appointed to John Jones for the UFC light heavyweight team. I'm going to go ahead and upload one of these to Yaw Top. Yaw Top. Only on pay per view. Oh, let's see here. How do you upload to Yatob? Do y'all know? How do you upload to Yatob? Files upload. At 2 and 1, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt Gabby Romero brings her MMA talents to Indiga FC's flatweight roster. While training with Legends MMA, Romero has not only been active in MMA competitions, but in grappling events as well. Now, is that not how you spell Invicta? Did I spell that wrong? Nah, that's how you spell it. What is this? Invicta FC 24. Live reaction. Live reaction. Okay, Amy Coleman versus Felicia Spencer. Invicta FC 24. Live reaction being uploaded right now. Pepsi's dead? What are you talking about? I ain't had a Pepsi in so long. I'm Googling keep calm and love Pepsi. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so Amy Coleman versus Felicia Spencer is uploading. I'm upload that one. What was the other fighter's name? Suna? Suna. Let's see if I can find her. Miranda Maverick. I'm a mixed martial artist fighting out of Springfield, Missouri. And tonight I'll be fighting Gabby Romero. Miranda Maverick trying to pick up her first pro win. My name is Gabby Romero. What the fighters? Boxing. What the fighters? Do y'all remember what that girl's name was? Suna. I need a dad or something. A dog in my video on my channel was called Pepsi. My dog's called Wolf. But that would be a really good name for a dog. Hey, Pepsi. Crazy takedowns, God, what was that girl's name? Really technical submissions. I'm typically a ground fighter. Use more of the when I fight. But considering I'm going against the black belt this time, um, you'll see maybe a little bit more of a multi-dimensional. David's daughter. David's daughter. Well. Tsunami. That's her name. Tsuna. 
Oh, that's a long name. There we go. Who she just fight? Show us the fight. I learned very early. Fifty to twenty four. Again, not just for hands, but for yourself. You never know what can happen. You leave it up to anyone. Uh, as always, I'm going to get that finish as fast as I can. If I see her getting tired or weak, I'm going to take advantage of that and finish this fight uh, as fast as I possibly can. Did not. Did not. Okay, there we go. All right, y'all got to give me a second. 24. It is giving me two different things. This is weird. There we go, Kelly. Okay, yeah, all right, there we go. Now we're getting there. No, go back. Sorry, guys, I'm having technical difficulties over here on my thing. The girls are walking out right now, so fighting ain't started. Yeah, yo, that's a good name for a dog. Doesn't that mean, like, cocaine or something? Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. She likes chokes. She Shopping. likes arm bars. She likes everything. Actually training for uh, the Eddie Bravo Invitational, which is coming up here in a couple weeks. Eddie Bravo. She said that this fight camp fit nicely with her preparation for that. She is truly a Brazilian jiu-jitsu player, and she fights like one. Idolizing right. the likes of Danny and Maya and some of the other jiu-jitsu practitioners in this game. And you're going to see a similar approach to mixed martial arts from Gabby Romero inside the cage. She, she wants to submit. Miranda Maverick, and there's no two ways about it. Yeah, she made no secret of it. She said, I don't actually like getting hit. I don't want to be hit in the face. I want to submit her, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. I'm strong. Going? I'm tough. I've seen what there is out there. I what is going on? In competition when it comes to Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. All right, sweet. In MMA, I'm not afraid of anything. Okay, so I'm going to blow that one real quick. I'm going to take a break for a second. Father's name is Gunner, and that's why my name is Gunner. She is David Dodd. David Dodd. Ha! <laughs> That makes sense. Oh, it's popping up saying that I can't name. And we've seen Brazilian traditional styles, like you said, Danny and Maya. Is that to their advantage? When, you know, we, we talk about MMA, it's so diverse and there's so many different aspects to it, but when you are the master of one, employing that, you know, finding ways to just employ that and take that as far as you can take it, that's something that Gabby has her sights on, of being the BJJ girl. Gabby Romero looking to do big things in her... God, my internet's moving so slow right now. Come on, internet. There we go. Oh, my goodness, dude. Her name's so ridiculous. I don't think it's going to let me save it as that. Cop. All right. What happened? Why can I click on that? That's weird. I think my computer's been taken over. What is that, Leon? Ah, oh, what is that? Where'd that come from? It's like popping up stuff right now. Crazy stuff happening. Ghost in the ring. Give me a sec. I'm trying to figure this out. And I'll be right back. Sweet. All right. I'm going to upload that now. Guys, so I'm upload that. All right, guys. I'll be right back. Uh, okay, sweet. I will be right back. I'm going to go on a beer run. Anybody need a beer? Anybody? Anybody need a beer? Let me know. I'll get you a beer. And when you sit down and talk to her, she's loquacious, she's intelligent, she's also incredibly earnest. Um, I wouldn't say naive necessarily, but almost to the point of innocence about what she wants to do with the world, how she wants to represent herself. She wants to give little girls a hero to look up with who doesn't swear, who has... Uh, strong belief in their faith and their family and, and goes out there and fights with kind of a love in their heart. She's taken numbers in the past with us bringing up her farm strength. She says, hey, I'm a lot more than just strength and power, which I developed on the farm. I've got a lot of technique. We saw that last time against Pipsy Cal Holiday. I don't know if she's going to test that Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu technique against a black belt here tonight, but she is very confident in all areas of mixed martial arts and expects to show off maybe some of her game that we have yet to see inside the Invicta FCK. We'll see if she can implement that here tonight against Gabby Romero. Flyweight set to do battle inside the cage. Let's take a look at the tail of the tick. Sure. Gabby Romero, nine years, the elder, 29 to 20. Miranda Maverick stands one inch taller, both on point. 125.4 for Romero, 125 even for Maverick. For our official introductions, here's Joe. This scheduled in the flyweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, 
A mixed martial artist standing five feet, two inches tall, weighing in officially 125 and one half pounds and three bouts. Her record stands at two victories and one defeat. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, here is Gabby, the Kraken! Her opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, has a background in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and kickboxing. At 5 feet 3 inches tall, she weighed in 125 pounds, and in two bouts, stands perfect with two victories and no defeats. Fighting out of Springfield, Missouri, here is the undefeated Miranda Fear the Maverick! Your referee in charge of the action is Mike England. Flyweight set to battle. It is Gabby Romero, the newcomer, against the veteran Miranda Maverick. Touch of gloves, we are underway. See the jab immediately from Romero. And you can see she wants to get to the inside. She made no bones about that. She didn't want to get hit. She wants to get to the inside and take this to the ground as quickly as possible. We talked about the strength of Maverick. Romero said, hey, don't sleep on my strength. I grew up on a ranch. I may be just as strong as Miranda Maverick. Strong and, and savvy. I mean, she says she rarely trains with women. She actually trains mostly with men. And she's used to giant men kind of pushing her down and holding her down in practice and having to work around that kind of strength. She wanted to play the jiu-jitsu game with Maverick, but being uh, forced to stay on the feet here, she tries to close distance, get in the clinch. Maverick, Maverick with a nice knee and elbow combination. And we can see uh, that overhook that spun Maverick around um, Romero reached for. She's reaching around the head right now, trying to get position. She's still got a hold of uh, Maverick's left arm, and now she's working to kind of break that grip. Separation back at space. Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series continues this Tuesday. The new series features five live fights each week with up-and-coming talent, as well as athletes looking to revive their careers. It is exclusively on UFC. All right, guys, I'm back. It's the live action this Tuesday at the... God, these girls are fighting. Use a kick from Romero lens right there, but a, uh, Maverick is doing a very nice job of kind of staying on the outside. That video's take forever to upload. Hitting angles on the front strikes. These girls are going at it. They look a little bigger, like, in stature. <laughs> Please turn the stream off. I can't, man. They'll shut me down. Also, uh, hello from America. Especially in previous fights, why not continue to try for it? Especially if you can drag them down or flip them down. Now we can see the position. 95% processed on my video here. Ooh, she got her, she's got her arm. Trying to get to a positioning where she can attack a little bit deeper on the left arm. I believe that, uh, yeah, you can see the arm direction has, uh, and she's... The girl on top is doing a really good job of keeping this girl from taking her, like, fully taking her arm. She's making the girl pay for it, too. Ooh, she's trying not. She let, she let go of it. Yeah, back to... The, ooh, hammer fist. Do you can get it? Yeah, I got a new beer. Got me a fresh, fresh brewski. Ooh, ankle lock. Wow, that is tight, too. Heel hook, whatever. I like how the girl knows more than I do about MMA. Not, not the girl, like these are girls fighting, but like the announcer girl knows more than I do about MMA. She got a heel hook. I haven't seen a heel hook work in a long time. Or like an ankle lock or anything like that. There you go, now she's on top. She used the hill hook, hook to like flip around and get on top. Miranda Maverick. You know, a lot is made about the jiu-jitsu player's game from before we saw that revolutionized by Hush Gracie, but something like Abby Romero Hus, Hus is very Gracie. from top of it. She's going for it again. The other girl now, the girl on the bottom is trying, trying to hill hook her ankle lock. All right, sweet, that one's unbloated. See a half card secured here by Maverick. A lot of time for Gabby Romero to work as well. I'm trying to upload videos while also trying to watch the fights. It's kind of crazy. I'm a bit of a multitasker, but I'm pretty terrible at it, so I'm not a very good multitasker. 
These girls are beating the crap out of each other on the ground. They got one minute to go in the first round. I got another video to upload. They're seriously like, this remind the way these females are doing. She is trying for that arm bar. Ooh, she got that arm bar. Ooh, she got that arm bar. She got the girls doing a very good job, but the other girls doing a very good job of defending it. She's going to lose it. She's trying to get that wrist. Ooh, she's got that arm bar. Ten seconds to go. She's got ten seconds to, like, flex on this girl. Oh, my goodness. That is weird. This looks... That was weird. The girl had an arm bar while the other girl had her head, her legs locked around her head, like, squeezing her head. That was weird. Sometimes it's very hard to make arm bar a girl. <laughs> now, yeah, fun fact, 98% of isolated men's name ends with son. That's probably, that's probably, I don't know if that's for real, but that could be true. I'm coming back out. Get that montage button. Get that ad revenue. Her arms are very flexible. Yeah, dude. She had, she had old girl's arm like, like you see my arm right now. Like her arm was like, her like joint right here was like up here, while the arm stayed in place. It looked crazy. I don't see how she didn't she didn't tap for that. Boom! Uploaded. That's the reason I prefer make guillotine dark chokes. What's the uh, they call it the anaconda choke? It's one of my favorite chokes to watch. And that the one where they get them like they lay like facing each other, and one gets them to choke and spins. Hey, you're good, man. Uh, Badin, I guess that's how you say it. You're speaking better English than I can speak. <laughs> Dude, I am terrible at like uh, grammar, like English grammar. I'm so bad at it. Same with the girls, the animal. Oh, daughter. That's cool. I'm gonna have to look that up. Do a little research. He got son and daughter. Romero. That's pretty cool. I was going to say, Romero, for her credit, needs to bring out those kicks because for all whatever reason, those kicks seem easy to catch for her. Maybe that Maverick sees that kicks are easy to catch for Somebody is, every time these girls punch each other, somebody is slapping the mic. That's what it sounds like. That's, that's weird. You hear it? You hear that noise? That pop, pop. It's weird. Somebody's like hitting the mic every time they hit each other. Seeing the evolution here of Miranda Maverick striking. Or whoever's keeping up with the amount of strikes, they're hitting something to keep up with it. That's me, Darth Choke, Kill Two is not submissions to watch. Yes. Any, dude, I love watching submissions. Good, a knockout's good, but a submission, that takes technique, skill, all that stuff. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes knockouts. They're just not really flukes, but like just out of nowhere, a guy will throw an overhand right just blindly and knock a guy out. That's not as impressive to me as, as jumping somebody out or making them submit off of like an arm bar. It, ooh, that girl is getting punched right in the face. My commentary is the best. That girl is punching that other girl right in the face. <laughs> 
this is scientific commentary we got going here. They're back clenched up. I'm putting serious weight on my Wi-Fi right now. My Wi-Fi is stressing because I'm live streaming and uploading at the same time. Mm. God, that girl is... She's on top. Almost in side control, just raining down shots on that girl. Joe Rogan's going to be shaking his boot please. Dude, Joe Rogan... God bless if he saw this. <laughs> oh, she's got her in a crucifix. Oh, she almost had her in a full crucifix. I at least know what that is. Now she's got her back. This is a crazy, crazy grappling match. Yeah, Joe Rogan, if he saw this, he'd probably put his fist through his TV or he'd probably take his phone and like snap it in half, whatever he is watching. <laughs> See the evolution here of Miranda Maverick. Very cerebral in there, making sure she's doing in with the she's in there. Her. We do father the name of, first and the daughter. Her father named David. She's yeah. David's daughter. That's no lie. Like, yeah, it makes sense. Because when they were saying it, it seriously sounds sounded like David's daughter. Which I'm guessing that's that was the point. But you can see that Gabby Romero knows that and she's blocking that and she's blocking the way to level. Why can't we have like easy names? You know, like let's just do you get the first letter of your name and the, the first letter of your last name. Like, she'd be SD versus KD or, like, the other ones. Can we not just make this easy so I don't have to do research on the fighters' names? Ooh, elbows to the body. Hammer fist to the head. She's tearing her up. Got a single leg. Break it up, girls! That was a little bit, I, I don't want to say sloppy, but it was a little bit careless of um, Brandon Maverick not immediately to take advantage of a head thing down on a take that when you step up on that silhouette, be sure to, you know, when defensively something's doing that, you really should need to start attacking your head either with strikes or calm. Man, that's taking forever to have life. Here, I'm going to stop that. Stop it. Uh, her thing. Hmm. Ah, I'll just let it up. They can fast forward. My friend trains with Khabib a lot of the time says that no one can submit this guy. I don't, I, I believe that. I believe that Khabib can be submitted. They said that Conor McGregor called Khabib out, said he wanted Khabib after. But then I heard like Joe Rogan and them saying that that was a lie. Dana White just threw that out there so that that fight could possibly happen and would build up controversy and all that. Final five minutes to keep this one out of the hands of the judges. Get out of here. Back filming. Boom. These girls are tearing each other up. I'm, 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 I don't see it going the distance. I mean, they could be tired because they've been striking very well and they've been uh, grappling very well. Good body shots. Going down to see you in Gutter Street this morning in Gutter Street. Hey, appreciate you watching, man. No lie. Sigour? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Appreciate you watching. Yeah, tomorrow I'm going to be streaming Gunner and all that. Hopefully it's at a decent time. I don't know where the fights are going to be, but hopefully it's at a decent time for me. So I'm not up late or up early, you know. Hopefully it's like middle of the day. Appreciate you watching, though, man. She has like a... Uh, oh, sh oh, snap. Spilt the beer. You got a beer spill. This is a stage three emergency. Oh, God. I got this covered. I got this covered, guys. Stage three emergency. A little beer spillage. Boom, that quick and I'm done. Stage three emergency averted. If I don't tear my desk up. Ooh, good strike to the head. 
Now she's running. She's on her bicycle. Come on, get in there trying to take each other's heads off. <laughs> McGregor really has balls if he wants to fight Khabib because it's the worst. Yeah, dude, that is a bad because Khabib is an amazing wrestler. And that is a bad matchup for uh, McGregor. Wait, what are you watching? Uh, this is Invicta FC 24. It's the female fights. It's like the, the uh, what do you call it? the minor leagues. It's like the minor leagues of the UFC for the females. Dude, this would be like, no lie. I need to quit using this magazine as my mouse pad. Because this magazine, they don't make this magazine anymore. And I'm actually in this magazine. Let's see if I can find myself. My cousin's friend made this magazine and he put me in it. Here I am. Boom. So I need to quit using it. That's me. That's me like 10 years ago. I need to quit using it as a mouse pad because I keep spilling beer on it and I'm ruining it. It's like an art magazine. Like you see like artsy pictures. So I'm going to quit using that. I'm going to have to figure out something else to use as a mouse pad. Last go, probably around 2 p.m. Uh, I'll have to figure out what time it is for me. So it's early 5 p.m. UK time. I don't remember how far ahead we are or behind or whatever. I want you to comment some MMA events. Really good job. Hey, appreciate it, man. Still think McGregor would beat Khabib. I do too now. I think McGregor would beat Khabib. But at the same time, he would have to do it on the feet, like within the first round, or he would have to train so hard that he could weather the storm. Because Khabib, he ain't no joke. What do you say you are? I'll work it out for you. Oh, uh, I am Central Time, United States Central Time, Birmingham, Alabama. If you got East Coast time, then I could, I could do the math on that because it's just uh, add one or whatever, or take away one. I'll be right back. I'm going to try and find another mouse pad. Maybe I could use this from Korea. I spill beer all over this and the ink run off of it. I think this is my iPad box. I think this will work. I need something that doesn't put glare off. That's it. That'll work. iPad box will work. I don't know what's going on here. I just looked back and this is a very bad camera angle. Uh, picking up the shiny part of the box. Ten seconds remain in this fight. Miranda Maverick just needs to weather the storm. But it only takes an instant for Gabby Romero to make the pay. Wow. Alright, we go to judge's decision. Wow, that was fun. That was fun. You know, it wasn't a fight. Um, that girl thinks she's got it once. She thinks she had one. Continue to see the evolution of Miranda Maverick's mixed martial arts game. She seems confident and happy with her performance. Just 20 years old, Julie. Oh no! You can see the reflection in the mirror back here on the other screen. 20 years old. She's picking things up very quickly. She is picking things up very quickly. It's, you know, to get out of submissions for Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt is quite a moral. I think the girl with the dark hair's got this one. I can't remember her name. I don't think there was an ounce of quit in that young lady. She was always looking for a way to implement her game. She moved her legs around as much as possible, very scrambling, always looking for a submission, always looking for that take. Yeah, that girl, the dark haired girl, was working constantly. Doing I yeah, think she did a good job. I think she did enough to win. 15 minutes of work. You know, we, we've seen Miranda Maverick fight down at strawweight in the past. She moved up to flyweight here tonight after some weight struggles. This weight cut was a lot oh. easier for her, and I think that this is the weight class she's going to end up in. Yeah. It's finally putting a strain. Me uploading to YouTube at the same time as Spice finally putting a strain on my uh, Wi-Fi. But they seem pretty evenly matched on strength and ability there. 
The judges have talent their fans and nines. Joe Martinez has our official decision. Well, ladies and Dark gentlemen, girls got it. As we go to the judges' scorecards. Here are the totals. Marcus Danforth has it 30-26. Henry Gary, 29-28. And Ross Swanberg has a 30 to 27 for your winner by unanimous decision. Nope. And still undefeated. Ah. Oh. Finn the Maverick. No way. I didn't think that girl did it. Miranda Maverick getting its own touchdown. She took it though. She got it. Alright, the iPad box is not working out for a mouse pad. Going back to this Cherish Prize magazine. It works so well as a mouse pad. I'm a grappler and train with a lot of Dajistanian warriors, wrestlers, who train with the B, foreign people who can't even imagine how strong this guy is. He never tired. He is aggressive. He is the best wrestler in the UFC. I would say that, dude. He has dominated. Everybody he's touched, he is dominating. I haven't gone back and watched his old fights, so I don't know if like he's dominated this guy, but he's undefeated. I don't doubt he's strong. Not in the least bit. As Mexico's Karina Rodriguez meets Brazil's Barbara Ascioli, training out of Sacramento's Team Alpha Male. Barbara Ascioli looks to push her team out from now. With three of her four wins coming by way of stoppage, Osceoli looks to keep her aggressive nature while keeping tonight's fights out of the judges' hands. She'll look to make her debut memorable with another signature stoppage. Following in the footsteps of teammates Alexa Grosso, uh, I Anna think Rene McGregor will retire after these huge paydays because there's been no talk about that. Rodriguez I do not think McGregor will retire after this. A lot of people are saying that, but I really do not think he will retire. I think he will take some time off. He keeps saying he's going to fight in, um, he keeps saying he's going to fight this year in, in the UFC. I don't know if he's going to do that. Like, if... They're saying he's going to make $100 million off this fight. They're saying both fighters are going to make that much money. If you're going to make $100 million, you're going to take some time off. You're going to go sit on a beach and sit there and think like, man, I ain't got to do this no more. I ain't got to train every day. I ain't got to take the shots no more. So I think he's going to take some time off. I don't think he's going to come back this year. I don't love this guy as a man, but as a fighter, he's on another level. You talking about Khabib or you talking about uh, McGregor? If you're talking about Khabib... I understand that. Khabib, he seems real calm, confident, real cocky, but not in a funny way. You're talking about Khabib, okay. Not in like a, like McGregor's confident and cocky in like a funny way. Khabib kind of puts this air of like I'm better than everybody. You know, it, and it's not like in a funny way. You can't really laugh at it or be like, you know, I'd like to hang out with that dude. It's my moment. It's what I like to do, what I like to do. And there, What's going on? Like, oh, my phone's my getting updates. So, I am ready for striking. Was that girl's name Helene, Helena Kolinsky? Uh, I consider myself more striking. Or no, Miranda Maverick versus Gabby. That was it. Uh, and to kick, but I also I'm prepared for what everything. What is this? Fight, um, it's taking so me to weird if stuff. If I go to the ground, I'm prepared for everything. Like Gabby Romero, the, I think, was the girl's name. Miranda Maverick. Dude, I'm going to get so shredded on uh, YouTube for this. Because I'm getting the name so wrong. I like the blood, I like the punch, the kick. What I know about my opponent, Cut. Barbara, is that she likes right. to fight on the feet. She's also a striker, and she likes to engage uh, in the fight. I just... I think that's it. Is that it? I'm going to judge his decision. Yes, this is it. Alright, sweet. Do something fun for the people and have fun for me too. I'm going to place, but I want to finish with That'll work. Let's see if my other video uploaded. It's still 96% still not uploaded. Uh, I'm going to take over the box world. That's Connor quote. That to me means he's going to box more. He made McGregor promotion. Yeah, I can't argue with that. The McGregor promotions thing kind of, that kind of makes me think, yeah, he, he might box more. But I mean, at the same time, who's he going to box? You know, like who, who wants, who is a big name that wants to box him? Uh, let's see. 
But of course, Connor will have a chance at first minute to hold the feet. I do agree with that, Adam. I think it's a fight. Like, if I was going to bet, which every time I bet against Connor, I lose. But if I was going to bet, I would say that Connor's going to just dominate the feet for the first round, and then it's going to be downhill from there. Uh, Khabib's just going to destroy him from there. If they actually fought, I don't think they're ever going to fight. McGregor, McGregor promotions has nothing to do with UFC. He's contracted to UFC Reebok. That does make sense. Uh, I think this fight is so big that Dana Dana allows people who are big fighters for him, who make him money, he allows them to do more, you know, like branch off. I think Dana, like McGregor's like, hey, we're going to have the biggest fight in the world. Do you want to be part of it? And Dana's like, yes. And McGregor's like, I want my own promotion company. And Dana's like, okay, you can have your own promotion company as long as I'm going to make my money. Because I'm sure they still have a contract that Connor has to um, answer to. What is this? That's the process. Oh, this is taking forever. Two minutes remaining. I'll be back. Quick break. Anybody need a beer? Anybody? I'll be back. We have a history of undefeated Brazilians shining inside the Indica FC cage. Barbara Osceola looks to do just that here tonight in Kansas City. her in the FC debut here tonight. It is not a debut for her tournament or her team. She trains with Rene Aldana and Alexa Grosso and she wants to represent that team Lobo style inside the cage. They mix boxing and grappling and everything in mixed martial arts very well. She looks to have the same success that Rene and Alexa have. Yeah, and I have to say that Lobo stable just keeps producing talent, especially in female fighters, TJ. Um, it's a great place for people to go and train and to get, I think what they said, they have six female fighters you know, fighting out of their stable right now. And it's a really growing organization with, again, two fighters in the UFC, now a fighter debuting here, uh, fighters all over the place coming in and, you know, getting that well-rounded experience. Um, you know, the thing about Karina Rodriguez is if you watch some of her footage, my goodness, this woman is tough as nails. Work. We're looking at uh, the cut man here cutting the zipper off of uh, the shorts here of Karina Rodriguez. Looks like she had a uh, maybe a pocket. Uh, yeah, there's a pocket to that they put in shorts when you're keeping you go running and skirts as well. It's on the other side as well. We have to take um, care of that one. Yeah, and, and that's actually that's a good catch by the, the referees and the commissioner because that sort of thing could really cut the face of the other fighter or get in their eyes and close them. Not only that, I mean, if there's a loop, you get a toe caught in there. And just, not be very good. I don't know if that's another uh, zipper that I have to see the text that one. Oh, I think that's actually a reflective stripe, TJ. I don't know if oh. that's actually a... Uh, All right, I'm back. Right. It looks like it's reflecting off of the light. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh. Costume talk. We're rolling with the Kiwi Colch. Cahaba Kiwi Colch. I have not tried this. I hope it's good. All right, sweet. My video uploaded, I think. The Mexican Rodriguez, seven years older than the Brazilian, 31 to 34. Osceola All right, now I'm trying to upload another video. On point, 125.9 for Osceola, 124.1 for Rodriguez. 4-0 the record for the Brazilian, and the Mexican there stands is. at 4-2. For our official announcements, yeah. here's Joe Martinez. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are set to go with our next bout tonight. This one's scheduled for three rounds in the flyweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. Four. A mixed martial artist standing 5 feet 8 inches tall. Weighing in at the flyweight limit, 126 pounds and 4 bounds. I'm going to have to spell check like tomorrow when I wake up, I'm going to have to spell check all this. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, here is the undefeated Barbara Osceola. And across the
across the cage stands her opponent, makes martial artist standing five feet seven inches. Let's see here. Dude, I need Rodriguez to win. You want Rod? Okay, I'll, I'll be pulling for Rodriguez then. I don't know either of these girls. She's four and two. Guadalajara, Mexico. The weasel left name laid the door open. <laughs> I wanted a beer. I went and got a beer. Nobody said, yeah, they want a beer. So I got my own beer. Crazy. I don't know if that's the way you say your name. I'm just guessing. My camera just lingered. There it is. Rodriguez says she shares the love of These girls are coming out strong. They're moving a lot. Wrecking a lot. We're pulling for Rodriguez. We need Rodriguez to win. She's she's dodging pretty good. Ooh, good. Ooh, got a wobble. Oh, put her away. God dang, how did she not? Dude, she is out. Rodriguez has got girl on the going on, on her back. Dude, she is making her eat shots. I don't see how the ref's not stepping in right now. Dude, she is hammer fisting. She is beating this girl's head in. I don't see how the ref didn't step in because this girl is just like hanging on for dear life, eating shots over and over and over. Ooh, girl rolling into a, a leg lock. Dude, she's gonna tear. She is gonna tear this girl up. She's in her guard, but she is standing up, raining down strikes. God bless the the elbows. That was actually an illegal strike from the bottom. She threw her heel into uh, Rodriguez's head while Rodriguez had both knees on the ground. If they play by those rules. She is better on the feet, dude. She had that girl wobble. She is beating her head in right now. My goodness, elbows. Now she's going to the body. Dude, she is just, like, they're both on the ground right now. She's just throwing this girl around. My goodness. Ooh, she's trying to take the neck. She's behind it. She got her back. All right, girl rolled into it. She did, and it was the cage that really prevented her at that point. Still just beating her head in. My goodness. She stopped it. The ref stopped it. I think he should have stopped it way earlier, dude. She was just non-stop. Okay, so Rodriguez wins. She was just non-stop beating that girl in the head. Non-stop. Non-stop. Finally, the ref's like, you're not doing anything to protect yourself. I do agree with that decision. That was crazy. Dude, that Rodriguez girl is bad. Yeah, dude. She dominated that other girl. She stayed on top of that other girl, just making her eat elbows, fists. The girl's mad. Look, the girl's the girl's mad about the stoppage. You were getting your head beat in, and you weren't doing anything about it. That's crazy. Boom! Right there, that combo. And that girl started getting wobbly. She hit the ground. She sat down. Like she said, like, let me find a seat. And she couldn't find one, so she just sat down on the ground. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. Another beer done. What does Connor say to uh, Dana? Another one done, boss. Another one done. We're going to try this Kiwi Colch live on camera. That takes all right. Whatever. All right, I gotta find Invicta, Invicta, FC 24 fight card. Cause I'm having trouble with these girls' names. Fight card. There we go. Just give me. I hate when you click on something that just ads. Nothing but ads pop. Boo, boo, boo. It's like just give me the fight card, man.
Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially two minutes, 14 seconds. Round this is not what I put in. I put in fuck card. I didn't put in like, it's giving me like news on Donald Trump. It's like I put in Invicta 24 fight card. Victor, MMA junkies. As Alexa Grosso and Rene Eldana, and she will now speak with our Laura Seiko. All right, I'm here with Karina Rodriguez. Karina, wow, what a fantastic performance. Dude, she teared that. She she teared. She teared that girl up. Dude, she tore that girl up for real. Joe Rogan decided to retire. Why you take his place? They would hate me. They would know why I hate me. I got ADD. And I'd be like, in the middle of a broadcast, I'd be like, hey man, I'll be back, I'm going to get a beer. And they'd be like, you can't go get a beer. I'd be like, well, I quit, whatever, I'm going to get a beer. <laughs> they would hate me. Thank you very much. You said to me in this fight that you were really looking forward to someone that was willing to exchange All right, with you. where's my camera at? Did I? I exited my camera again. Yes. Keep doing that. There it is. Boom. Why does it go away? Don't go away, Cam. I need you. I need you, Cam. Alright, cool. Way, so I'm blessed. Thank you very much. You sat her down with a huge shot. Uh, she managed to, to maintain Ooh, she to take the she got her back. Okay, oh, sweet. That's the one I'm looking for. At, at the end of the fight, I need that one. Absolutely damaging. Was some yeah, I'll blow that one. Beautiful punches from the top. Talk about the very end, though, from your perspective. Did you feel like the, the fight was stopped at an appropriate time? Oh, uh, well... Uh, Yes, the referee stopped the fight is because he saw that she can't defend yeah. herself. Yeah, old girl was getting her head beat in. Yes, it was stopped at the right time. <laughs> Congratulations on your fourth KO. Ladies and gentlemen, Kalina Rodriguez. Nice work turned in by Karina Rodriguez, getting it done and making a statement in her Invicta FC debut. I'm sure Randy Aldana and Alexa Grasso back at home in Guadalajara, very proud of their teammates handiwork here tonight right, there we go. in Kansas City. No, I want that name. Uh, it's telling me you can't have that name. What is it talking about? Hey. Oh, it says the period. It doesn't like the period in it. Now what is it not like? I'm trying to save the name, guys. Hey. Uh, it doesn't like something. Featherweights are on deck in Kansas City as Pam Sorensen is set to square off against Russia's Helena Kolsnia. Okay, so Despite that. your Invicta FC debut here file tonight, name can, can't you contain any of the following. Has already been forced Where? to roll with the punches leading into tonight's contest. A Weird! By Megan Anderson for the Invicta FC I need the notepad. Kolsnick accepted the fight with Bantamweight with Antonia Avenger following Anderson's Boom. departure. Need that. It wasn't long after that before Paste another it to the notepad. change led to tonight's showdown with Sorensen. Despite these changes, Colson never backed down from the fight. Now she looks to show how game she really is when she faces another tough Invicta FC veteran. Copy. After and capturing regional titles at 135 pounds, Minneapolis, Minnesota. All right, sweet. So it took me to bring out Notepad. Despite coming up short to the very they did not like the Rodriguez name. Notepad is racist. As she hunts for or second Invicta FC cult cultural victory. list. There's a lot of different races in South America. Alright, it's back to upload. Files. Boom, there it is. Alright, sweet. Upload that back. My name is Pam Sorensen. I am an MMA fighter fighting right. out of Minneapolis, Publish. Minnesota, and tonight I'm fighting Helena Kolesnik. Uh oh, live stream interrupted. What's going on? It froze up. Oh, weird. The live stream froze up, guys. Who would win, GSP or McGregor? GSP has been knocked out twice. I would say McGregor. If GSP could weather the storm and live through uh, McGregor's first round shots, then GSP would destroy McGregor. But I do not think he could live through those first round shots. 
Because I think the only two times he's lost were both by knockout, and they were first round knockouts, to my knowledge. It's crazy. What are you talking about? Oh, the uh, Rodriguez was the underdog? No way, dude. Could, I don't see her being the underdog. She beat that girl's head off. All right, so my live stream has stopped. That's weird. I wonder if I'm having problems or if they're having problems. I just heard noise, so that means that it's trying to stream. It can't be me having problems because everything else is running efficiently. I wonder, if it's, I wonder if it's them having problems. A lot of times with the UFC, they'll have a pay-per-view, and when you get like to the last two fights, the pay-per-view will cut out for a little while. And it's, it's mostly because everybody starts getting online to watch the last two fights because th those are the big fights or like the main event. I've had that happen a lot. I guarantee you that's good. I hope it doesn't happen during the McGregor uh, Mayweather fight because I'm going to have a lot of people here and they're going to be really disappointed if my stream shuts off. Just like you are disappointed right now. Maybe not because I can still run my mouth. Even, like I've got this girl staring at my face right now. That's what it's froze on. It's froze at this girl like with this look. Like, like no lie. She's been staring at me for a minute. It's freaking me out. Whoever, uh, let's see. I don't know why it's it's blocking some of y'all. Me, oh, I bet it's, I wonder if it's my Wi-Fi. Because my cell phone's still picking it up. I can see y'all on your cell phone. My free stream is fine. Let's see if I can bring that back up. Street frame is fine. Pass. It's worth the money. Uh, you aren't paying one hundred dollars. Where are you gonna watch it on? I'm gonna watch it on. Uh, I'm gonna watch it on Xbox. Hopefully, I don't know really what I'm gonna watch it on. Let me go downstairs check my Wi-Fi because uh, it looks like everything's kind of frozen. I will be right back. My my upload's still uploading though. That's what I don't get. I'll be right back. Showing everything's good downstairs. I got full bars. That's weird. Oh, it's back. It's just weak. The signal's really weak. Why is the signal so weak, I wonder? That's weird. I'm going to try and re-log into YouTube. See what's going on. My iPad. Yeah, it's just the signal's really weak. What? My charger just broke. Weird. Uh, whatever. I got more chargers. It is a quick turnaround. Uh, turnaround, as you said, TJ. You know, kind of wonder if that maybe played into the weight cut a little bit. She did say the thing about getting a fight this quickly after the other one is all she really had time to do was rest and recover and when it was fight camp again. So she didn't really get the experience. Oh. And she said, you know, her mind is a big part of her fight game. Uh, we saw her determination in her fight with Adrian. They're walking out right now. Cam Sorensen, I guess is her name. She's a very strong fighter out there, even though she dropped that decision. My signal, I guess, is just really weak right now. It was doing fine earlier. All right. My upload's doing fine. It's actually uploading really fast. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's me uploading three videos in a row. My internet's like, hey, we're done. You uploading while you're trying to watch a live stream and while you're trying to watch like comments on the chat, you're done. Bam, 
Alina Kalinsmer versus Pam Sorensen. Wow. That is a big height difference. The other girls got more weight, but 5'8 versus 5'6. Alright, how do I get to the left? Yeah. Introducing first, Molly of the Blue Corner. Her background in boxing and Muay Thai. There it is. Bam. Back to the live chat. I'm back, guys. All right. Thoughts on Woodley, Maya. I believe Woodley's going to win. Woodley's just too good. Your YouTube stream's fun. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand. Now, now it's coming through perfect. It's coming through like 1080p now. I don't know what just happened there. I had like a slump in uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, someone emailed Dana and grasped you up. What are you talking about? Dana's not talking to me. Dana's no life. You go to my Instagram, or not Instagram, uh, my Twitter, Luna Wolf MXS, same name as my, uh, my Facebook, or whatever we're on. What are we on, YouTube? Same name as my YouTube. Go to my Instagram, or Twitter. I keep forgetting the names, dude. I'm terrible at names. Go to my Twitter. Dana White has me blocked. He blocked me because I asked him about uh, Nick Diaz. When's Nick Diaz going to fight again? Boom! Instantly blocked. All right, I got to start filming on this other one. I'm multitasking too much to have my brain work. My brain very rarely works anyways. But. We've got old 5'8 versus 5'6. Coles. They, I wish they would keep it up there. Like, who are the fighters? They take it away too quick. We don't know who these people are. They're not big names. Who is my favorite fighter? Um, Jose Aldo, which I know that that's surprising because Connor knocked him out. But Jose Aldo, uh, Carlos Condit, George St. Pierre, which, I mean, George is retired, but he keeps saying he's going to come back. Probably those three. Carlos Condit is probably one of my most favorite fighters. Uh, Nick Diaz, I don't really care about Nick Diaz, but Nick Diaz, he's way up there. I love watching Nick Diaz. If I had to choose, yes, Nick Diaz would be my most favorite fighter of all time. Love watching Nick Diaz. Uh, John Jones is going to decimate Daniel Cormier once again. Carlos Condit, yeah, dude, I love watching Carlos Condit. Whenever he fights, he fights. He's like the Diaz brothers. Even though when he fought Nick, he kind of run around away from Nick, but that's the only way to beat Nick. Because Nick's just going to stand there the whole fight doing this, like, what do you want, homie? What do you want? You know, run away from him, and that's all he's going to do. Every once in a while, come in and punch him, and you'll win on points. Uh, your grappling is a strike. My heart belongs to him. Carlos Connick. Yeah, dude. Carlos Connick, though, at the same time, his jiu-jitsu, all that stuff, his ground game is amazing. Oh, girls elbowing her in the face. Right in the face. That's not very nice. Okay, that one's right in. Instead of actually racing to try and hit escape, I have 320 subscribers. A week ago, before the whole Conor McGregor thing, and I decided to start doing like live talk about the fights, I had like uh, 240 or something. His attacks from close guards really good. Yes, dude. Carlos Condit's the type of guy you don't want to be wrapped up with. Carlos Condit's the type of guy you don't want to really stand across from. She's beating that girl's head in. She she has got full guard beating that girl's head in. She's not really effectively using her legs to change position. Nice elbows here on the inside, Julie. I like how oh five eight girls getting her head beat in right now. I just watched the thing from Matt Sarah saying when we lay down on the mat, we're both the same size. And that's proven very true. That girl's getting her head beat in. Ooh, she's going for Omar! That is so That is so Oh, that's so deep. Oh, she's gonna tap! God bless! She tapped! Oh! Wow! Dude, that arm ball was so nasty! I was waiting for it. I was like, ain't no way she's 
she's not going to tap. God bless, she tapped. My goodness. That girl looks scary. It's fight against uh, Maya. I want a lot of money, but then crying all week. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. That's what su Carlos Connor has been in the game so long, man. It sucks because now old people are just now starting to know who Carlos Connor is. But I mean, he's been in the game so long that I mean, it's like what what more you got to prove? Now people know who you are. So yeah, you want to fight now so you can build up popularity. But you're you're old and you've been fighting too long, you know. Dude, that arm bar was nasty. But tonight belongs to Pam Sorg. Yeah, she was definitely uh, the losing fighter tonight with some really, really hard and well timed ground and pound there from Pam uh, Sorg. Let me make sure that all this little multi task is done right there. The step over the top. Oh, there ain't no way she's not going to tap. Alright, sweet. I got the right video. Now I gotta figure out these girls' names. Pam, so there we go. Found it. Copy. Helena, blah, 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 versus blah, 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 blah. That was exactly the stoppage that Pam Sorensen was looking for victorious tonight. Pam Sorensen. First round submission. To make it official. Dad coming. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes via armbar submission at 3 minutes, 12 seconds, round number one. Your winner from Minneapolis, Minnesota, Pam! Copy. Pam Sorensen! Pam Sorensen gets it done via first round armbar. Awesome. It's going to feel good for her to tap out a former right, training partner. Go here, upload a video. Sorry guys, I'm uploading a video right now. So Pam uh, he was Rod. Robbed by Judge's decision. Lawyer. Lawler. My bad. I actually did not watch that fight. Carlos Condit. Was it Carlos Condit versus Lawyer? I'm pretty sure. Not 100%. But I did not watch that fight. I didn't watch a lot of Lawler fights. No, I did not want to say you've done. I think I actually lost the fight about four times. I definitely... Tanya Evinger. Enjoyed it. If it was in Invicta, I think that... Oh, Where's it at? Helena. Like there it is. Alright, sweet. Pam's you know, obviously, it's a big card. I don't think it's any more pressure than any other fight. Nick, top. Going in there. FC 24. Everybody says it can meet me again, so this is a same day as the other day at the office. Man. Monetization's got to get that ad revenue. Yeah, revenue, that ad revenue. Got to get that ad revenue. All right, uploading that video. I've got a lot of videos going to Linda Wolf MXS right now on YouTube. Man, I think that every life I'd scary. I think I looked at them and, and they all got bigger muscles than me and, and I don't know. That girl, I don't know her name, but the blonde or whatever, she, or whatever she is, she got a hat on. She looks like every girl I've ever seen in the military. No offense, women in the military, but that girl looks like every girl I've seen in the military. Scary. <laughs> I'm not going to go and find you, Hopefully, I'm not. I'm, my, my ladies that watch the military, that was just a joke. Just a joke. I got some uh, some lady friends on here that watch me talk. There's no way they're watching this right now. They're not going to watch this long into my stream. So, whatever. Let's forget that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk it off, guys. I'm going to walk this off. Alright, I walked it off. I'm back. I'm back. Um, the, the highest stage you can fight. And Victor, to, to me, is like one of the top, top promotions you can fight That's for. uploading. Really, if you look at it, if you, if you fight for a victim, then you, you kind Alright, quick restroom break. break. Yeah, Be right back. Along, and this is where um, I did my best, and, and it brought the best in me. So, you know, it, it's, um, it's really cool. To, to be able to step up to a stage like this and fight, um, not necessarily a great opponent, but um, another great Invicta fighter and a dominant Invicta fighter. And it, it uh, to me, proves, proves that, that this promotion is, is um, where the talent comes from. This promotion is where the top girls are coming from. And I just really couldn't be um, more thankful in, in, in having been a part of uh, this promotion for so many years and, and being able to, to showcase my skills for so many years. So. You know, it's going to be awesome, and uh, I don't know, man. It's getting big all the way, for sure. Hi, I'm 
I'm back, guys. I'm back. Sorry about that. Woo! There she is, the former Bantamweight champion, triple threat Tanya Evinger. She gets her opportunity to capture the UFC. Oh, she's not fighting tonight? She takes on Chris Cyborg, UFC. Oh, my God. She's going to fight Chris Cyborg? That girl looks like she would get murdered by Chris Cyborg. Chris Cyborg is a scary, scary woman. Two former champions fighting for UFC gold. It will be a night not to miss. Another night not to miss coming up. Invicta FC 25 from the world famous Tachi Palace Hotel and Casino in Lamore, California. Why are you laughing at me saying Chris Cyborg's scary? Dude, that girl is not a Chris Cyborg's scary woman. Olivia Hanata Sosa takes on Jody Esquivel for the straw weight title. What a night. Invicta 25. August 31st. August 31st. I might be watching that. That's a long way off. The, for me to be thinking about right now. That's right after the Conor McGregor fights. I mean, <clears throat> in this, this should be the main event, shouldn't it? It is a huge fight in the featherweight division. But why would you be coming tonight on Fight Pass? It's a rematch we've all been waiting for. As Daniel Poirier faces John Jones for the UFC Lightning. Yeah, it should be. Nah. It says Ashley Cummins versus Gene New Fry. I guess there's one more fight. <clears throat> Chris Cyborg must fight Connor Khabib. <laughs> no, this, yeah, Chris Cyborg is scary, dude. She should be fighting like Khabib, Connor McGregor, Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> Frey should be the second to last. Yes, okay, you're right. You're right, Seagal. So Ashley Cummins versus whatever Frey. Jin Yu Frey. Jin Yu Frey. I was way off. Turns out. Turns out I can't speak words. What are words? Jin. 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 I'm so bad at words. What's that thing people got now? Like where they do Periscope or YouTube and they're like, roast me? Roast me live on camera. Go ahead, bro. It's, it's not hard. <laughs> I make it easy to roast me. I like to watch Valentina. I can't pronounce her last name. Versus Cyborg, but she is so small. Yeah. Dude, Cyborg, for a female fighter, because the weight classes are so small, for a female fighter, Cyborg, Chris Cyborg, is a large woman, very muscular woman. That That's the whole, like, no why. A lot of these fighters, I don't think they're really scared of people, but uh, Ronda Rousey, I swear on my life, I think she was scared to death to fight Chris Cyborg. Swear on my life, I think she was scared to death to fight her. Ashley Smashley Cummins. I'm a mixed martial artist. Ashley Smashley. What a name. Fighting Jenny Fry. Smashley. Smashley. That's hilarious. Hi, my name is Jenny Fry. I'm a mixed martial artist fighting out of Arlington, Texas. Jenny Fry. Ashley Cummins. I think uh, when people see me fight, they see a very well-rounded fighter. You know, I can stand and strike with people. I have good wrestling and I have good jiu-jitsu. You know, I just, I don't special. No, you don't. Quit people. lying, girl. Everything. So Quit lying. A very well-rounded mixed martial artist when you see me. Quit some lying. First getting started, but I would watch her. And so it's, it's kind of uh, funny. Shibank, funny Shibanko to, is an amazing fighter. You're talking about, is it Amanda Nunes? And then now we're, so we're staying in constipation with each other. Yeah, Wasn't it, didn't Amanda Nunes hold the belt for a little while or something? I'm not up on my female fighters like I should be. I think it's Amanda Nunes. Yeah, Amanda Nunes. She probably will. That girl, that fry girl, I'm sorry to say, but I like how, I'm sorry. That fry girl is very attractive. That is a very attractive fighter. Her to win, everyone wants to see her. Used one that beat home right. You know, all the pressure's on her. I get didn't, to go in there and no, didn't. I love shocking people. Like my last fight, I was the tape, the tape beat news. The world, I can't wait to shock the world again. I know that uh, Tate beat Holmes with a choke, but I can't remember. I know Amanda News. I can't remember. Uh, 
we have to beat Tate. I don't know if Noons beat Tate. Tate's retired now. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, yeah, Noons did beat Tate and Rousey. I'll have to look it up later. I'm not going to look it up now. i got so much going on on my screen. I'm going to have to hire somebody. I'm going to have to hire like a dude to sit back here and like do research for me while I talk. Yeah, Fry or whatever. She is very attractive. Almost like uh, Lucy Liu. Y'all know who Lucy Liu is, right? The actor, Kill Bill and all that. She almost kind of looks like her. And I've always been like... If Lucy Liu were to walk in right now and tell me to smash all this stuff, like my iPad, my phone, I would do it. If Lucy Liu was like, hey, smash your stuff, I'd be like, all right, cool. And I'd be smashing it. Oh, come on. I'm hoping this upload quits. Forty seconds. I love how it says forty seconds remain, and then it counts down very slowly, like a second every like five seconds. There's a video of Fry from years ago, some type of key contest. So she wasn't real like now. It was amazing. I'm sure it was amazing. She's very attractive. Um, hey, I, I'd be cool with her being ripped. I had seen her body. All I've seen is her face. Ashley Smashley, dude. I love that name. <laughs> I'm going to pull for Fry. I'm going to pull for old, old good looking girl. She's a good looking girl. Ashley Smashley sounds like she's going to beat her head in, but. Coming out of the hip hop. I, I like that Bad Company song, but. I think if I was going to do like a ring walkout, I, I would walk out to uh, hip hop, probably. Tate, Watterson, and Gracio, the best one. Yeah, that's what uh, Seagull. Yeah, fan of Rose. Yeah, yeah, Rose is pretty, pretty attractive. A lot of people are pissed that she's attractive. That's what's funny. Like, you're born, you know, you're like, hey, guys, I'm so-and-so. They're like, we don't like you, you're attractive. A lot of people are pissed at uh, Rose because she's so attractive. It's like, what I mean, what are you talking about, you know? What's up? I think you said it. Is it Nunit? No. I can't remember. There, there was that one girl that was real attractive and she shaved all her hair off. I still saw, thought she was attractive, but a lot of people were like, nah, that did it for me, you know? Rose? Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. She shaved all her hair off. I still think she's attractive, but a lot of people are like, nah, she shaved her head, now she's ugly. What's what's that blonde-headed girl who's in the lower weight class who's always on like uh, Twitter and Instagram and all that, taking live streams of herself? She's attractive too. I can't remember her name. Let's take a look at the She's uh she's blonde. She got long hair. She didn't shave her head. The one I'm talking about. I can't remember her name. They are basically the same. They are exactly the same size. 5'3", three, 5'3", three, 105 pounds is what they weighed in at. There's no telling what they are now. Dude, that is so tiny. 105 pounds? Weighing that much? That is ridiculous. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are set to go with our co-featured belt of the evening. Three rounds this schedule in the Invicta FC. Invicta FC! My name is Joe Martinez! She is a mixed martial artist standing five feet. That's the guy announcing right now, Joe Martinez. I can sweep my video uploaded. Stands at five victories and three defeats. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, here is Ashley Smashley. Ashley Smashley. I'm sorry, man. I gotta pull. I gotta pull for Ashley Smashley. That is a great name. And across the cage stands her opponent fighting out of the red corner. Just imagine, Cyborg without hair would give me nightmares. She is a scary looking woman. And I'm not saying like she's ugly, but I'm saying like with her build, she is a scary looking woman. She looks like she should head up a uh, Mexican drug cartel or something like that. Oh, Fry. 
I, I still think, even with her hair drawn back in corners, I still think she's attractive. Oh! Stefan? Is that really, like, am I saying it right? Stefan? Ha. All right, here we go. I'm going to start the stream over here. Jane Yu Fry. I bet she's, she's a crack. That other, Smashley looks so small, dude. Come on, we need Smashley to do this. Dude, they're going to be striking. These small weight classes like this, they're so fast. Boom, head kick from Smashley. Really nice head kick. Let's try to take her down. Call me Steven. I can do that. I can do that, Steven. Old <laughs> well, Smashley's got Fry up against the, the cage. She looks so much smaller than Fry, dude. She Missing that stoppage, uh, it's eluded her for the last couple of fights, and she wanted to make a statement and, and see if she can fight her game against Tommy. And we can see uh, Fry now trying for that single. Like, yeah, she's she trying that single. Oh, she got it. it. Nicely she done. Uh, the battle right here was for the underworld, and we can see Ashley has the left arm of Fry wrapped up there, and Fry is using her right arm to kind of attack. Uh, Cummins is pushing against that, also keeping her head down. Come on, smash the get off your back. I don't know. They're kind of canceling each other out. If I was the ref. Boom. Ooh, she's throwing up. She's throwing up the flex. Ooh, she tried to get that arm bar. Didn't happen. No, old Smash has got that single leg. She's so much smaller, man, than uh, Fry or whatever, Frey or whatever her name is. She's got a deep single leg now. Ooh, she didn't get it. Oh, not good. Not good, Smashley. Ooh, head strikes. All right, they're facing off again. Turn the octagon. Pronounce Fry. Got a buddy with that name. Ooh, Fry just eat one. Oh, Smashley giving it to her. Head kick again. Smashley's quick with that head kick. Mmm. Oh. oh, God. Beer spill. It's emergency. It didn't quite go on the little thing. I don't even know why I got a, uh, like I got like a uh, coaster. Dude, this coaster causes, causes me to spill my beer every five seconds. <laughs> it has nothing to do with me drinking alcohol right now. Absolutely zero to do with me drinking alcohol. You talking about the grit of actual Cummins? You talking about the cheap fight pass? Dude, I'm cheap. I tried to get the seven day free trial. I actually got the seven day free trial. Um, but I had got one before, and now they're saying I gotta pay for it. And I'm like, God bless, I don't wanna pay for it. Dude, I'm cheap too. Couldn't find a stream. When it comes to uh, Stuffa or Suffa or whatever, the UFC like corporation, you will not find the streams, dude. They shut the streams down so fast. I guarantee you if I turn the camera and put this full screen, they would shut it down within five minutes. Oh, Fry is beating old Smashley's legs in. So let her stand up. There we go. Good ref. Ref kind of split him up. Let him let her stand up. Ooh, them, them kicks from old Smashley are awesome. Well, they had the Tuesday night contender thing on Reddit. Watched the whole thing. So I guess if they hide it like deep within something, like, you know, Reddit's still, everybody knows what Reddit is, but it's still kind of like the deep web. I guess if they hide it through something like that, yeah, they can get away with it. It's harder to track, I would think. YouTube, 
It's so easy for them to track what's going on. I'm sure they're tracking this right now, waiting for me to like film it or something. Spill my beer on my body. This is kind of a boring fight. I'm, I'm gonna be real. They're not really doing a whole lot. That I already read that comment. I am going to delete that Liz video. I'm terrible with access, Scott, so don't let me offend you with it. Yeah, take a minute, just link for another work. You don't have that problem with football. When you're talking about football, you're talking about like soccer. We call it soccer here, but I understand it all over the rest of the world it's called football. I'm guessing that's what you're talking about. Dude, the UFC is so small, whereas like soccer... It's a worldwide sport. It would be harder to shut down live streams of soccer than it would for UFC to be shutting down. I'm talking about, you're talking about American football. I almost said real football. You're talking about American football. Like real football. I'm just kidding. That was a joke. Sorry, guys. Um, American football and soccer both would be easier to live stream than it would be uh, MMA, like UFC. They'll, they shut it down so quick, dude. Ooh, that girl's beating her head in. Oh, I forgot to start recording over here. And here is where the fight is going to be really exciting, TJ. It's that battle for the underhooks. It's that battle to get off of the fence. Both of them are very experienced. They're just kind of, my problem with this fight is they're just kind of grappling a lot. They're not really trying to strike from the grapple. They're not really trying to take each other down. They're just trying to assert their dominance, but in a way, ooh, she finally got her on top of smack, and old Fry took uh, Smashley to the ground. <laughs> it's real football. <laughs> I would say that soccer should be called football because they use their foot the whole time, you know, like to kick the ball. So I kind of agree with that argument, but at the same time, I was raised with football, like American football. So at the, at the same time, when you say football, I'm thinking like, Oh, like New England Patriots, stuff like that. <laughs> but it does make more sense for soccer to be called football and not soccer. Like, I guess we came up with that name, soccer. Yeah, I'm from, I'm from America, too. That's what I'm saying. It, but, I mean, like, when you travel a lot and you go overseas, when you say football, like, hey, I was watching football the other day. They're thinking soccer when I'm thinking American football, you know. So it's, it's really weird. You got to get in your mind that... You have to say American football and not call it uh, soccer. They get pissed when you call it soccer, by the way. Oh, you get straight. Dude, I'm telling you, the UFC is such a small, like, company. Oh, wow, she got an arm ball on Fry. Oh, she got an arm ball on Fry. Oh, she flipped out of it. Nice. Nice. It's hot for escape. But yeah, dude, the UFC is so small, it's easier for them to track. Especially on YouTube, like I am right now. It's easier for them to track uh, people streaming stuff. Again, Ashley Kelly does not contend to stick cut. She's moving to 90 degrees and every time she's on her back. What is she? She got. Smashley's got a lock. Oh, she's got an armbar again. Armbar City. <laughs> it's Armbar City tonight. Come on, Smashley. She keeps giving it up. She keeps letting go of her arm, dude. Tricells back into the guard. I'm surprised she didn't try to stand and get out of there. I mean, this is not the same place for Jimmy. All right, now she. Wow, she just gave up her back to Fry to get out of that. I mean, she no lie. Rolled over, started crawling out, gave up her back. Another one done, boss. We got two minutes to go around two. You know it's not a very good fight when I look at the clock and I say, "All right, we got this long to go in round two. Ooh, ooh, double leg takedown. Very nice takedown. Take 
Are you surprised that Fry and you didn't look for that take tackle to get back to the game? No, I This has been as attractive as old Fry is. This has been kind of a boring fight, you know. It's like, come on, Fry. I think that she feels comfortable enough. Uh, Muscular, thank you very much. No problem, dude. Uh, Steven, right? No problem. Appreciate you. Also, too, on the floor, Fry has used her out. Appreciate you watching me run my mouth. The, the, the close guard has been able to land a, a lot of nice strikes, but... You know, it's, it's not a place she can really get too comfortable because Connor is very offensive on the back. She is, and you know, Smashly is not living up to her name. Your name's Smashly. I expect you to be smashing, folks. Whoa, she got that arm bar again. She got that arm bar again, and it is deep. Oh, girl's holding on. Fry's holding on. Oh, she could have it. Oh, that thing is tight. She can't, she doesn't have enough force to like, just stretch it out. Oh girl, oh Fry's doing a good job. Fry's doing a good job of holding her off. God bless, you gotta put, she's not, Smashley's not putting everything she's got into it. You gotta put everything you got into that. God bless, dude. Come on, Smashley. Now old girl's got her other arm behind her arm getting arm barred. So she's holding like that. She's not going to be able to do it. I just don't think she's strong enough. That sucks, dude. She had that so deep. She allowed that girl to get control of her arm again. Yep, she got it out. That sucks, dude. Resorted to listening to audio better than nothing. It is better than nothing. <laughs> I'm the same way. Like, when I'm trying to, uh, like, watch a fight or something, and I'm just being cheap, because I'm being for real. I'm cheap, too. So I try and like look it up on the internet and then I, I usually later in the night I'll just stop on somebody who's talking about the fight. Yeah, Dude, that arm bar was so deep, I can't believe that girl didn't have that. Alright, I'll be right back. Quick break for me, I'm gonna get another beer. Anybody want a beer? Anybody. Let me know, I'm gonna get you a beer.
So many people. I had like 10 people at what, actually 12 at one point watching the fight. At least you get the audio. Other channels say they have it live but nothing plays. Not sure what those channels are doing. Those channels, I know what you're talking about. Uh, let me start recording here on my other camera. <clears throat> Fry is on top of uh, Smashly. I wouldn't say. She, she said, what's it called when they're in between full guard and half guard? Partial guard? I don't know. Um, yeah, dude, I know the channels we're talking about. And I think it's that they want you to either subscribe to their channel for what reason, who knows. Yeah, uh, mount or whatever. Side mount? Is that it? Half guard. That's it. Half guard. That's the word I'm looking for. That's why I need y'all. <laughs> um... Those channels, they're looking for subscribers, which I don't know why. I don't know. I don't understand the subscribe to my channel when I have no content, because they got no content. I don't. I don't understand that. Now, oh, she was almost in the actual. Yeah, she's in full guard now. Um, they're either looking for subscribers for an unknown reason, or they're trying to direct you to another like fake channel for viruses. That's all I've been able to figure out. Ooh, Smashley's trying for that arm bar. I don't think she I don't think she has the power, dude. I don't think she has the core power. Cause she she'll get the arm bar but she'll still be wrapped up. You know like arm bar you want to straighten your body out onto the arm and she just can't do it. I wish she could. Cause she's had three arm bars in a row and can't pull it off. There's a link to a fake Fox Sport. Yeah dude the, the fake things, I guarantee you it's just to try and put a virus on your computer. Why? Who knows? I don't understand. I don't get that. I don't get like, I'm going to put a virus out there. I think these people, like the virus people, I think they want to uh, they want to get put on the news. It's all I can see. They want people to talk about their virus and all that crap. It, which is so stupid. Like, I'm... If I was in that business, I would be about making money. Like, how can I make money off of actually streaming live? I guess what I'm doing right now, but I, I, I'm not really worried about YouTube money. Because it's really not that much. I will seriously offer of this. That's it. That was round three. I think Fry won that, even though Smashly had the, the um, she had all the submission attempts. All right, so I'm streaming here, guys. We're going to a decision. Smashley versus Fry. I think Fry's got it. That that was not a great. I wouldn't say that was a great fight or even a good fight. It was kind of boring at times. But Smashley was throwing up the submissions, constantly throwing submissions. Almost had some of the submissions. Had several arm bars and just couldn't pull them off. I think Fry won the match because she had the dominant positions. Even though she didn't do anything with those dominant positions, I think she won it just based off of the dominant position. You think they're training for work with the KGB hacking? <laughs> Probably. Who knows? It could be our own government. Like from all sides. Could be our own government trying to see if they can hack places and whatnot. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Here we go. Guaranteed they're going to give it to Frost. Guaranteed. Even though I think Smashley did more work. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Here are the totals. Henry Gary and Ross Swanberg both see it 30 to 27. Brett wow. Brown has it 29 28. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. Jen! Yup! Knew they would give it to her, even though she had the dominant positions. Didn't do anything with them. Didn't do anything with the dominant positions. She just sat there and laid on the girl, and the girl was constantly, oh, Smashley was throwing up submissions. All right, I'm 
That was, that was terrible. All right, sweet, I'm all below that. This is y'all's behind the scenes to my YouTube videos. This is how, like, professional I am. I just say, like, blah, 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 and then I upload it to YouTube. How good does it feel to come in here and kind of get that bad taste out of your mouth? Uh, that's great. It was a long time coming. It's been. Uh, where did it go? Uh, camera roll. She threw up we got. Wow. Well, so she must have landed punched to throw up submissions and out and get points. Dude, she she at least threw up three arm bars. One was very dangerous. The other girl was like she was punching, but I mean it went like she wasn't connecting nothing. Like I'm talking smack. This girl would beat the crap out of me. Get out of here. And Were you surprised by how low. active her bottom guard was? She doesn't have any wins via armor okay. or triangle. Right. I'm loading another one. Whoa, I don't need to knock. I've been knocking beers over all night. I'll need to knock over another beer. Cheesecake sounds awesome. What's next for you in this case? Cheesecake and a beer. This is my girl. I eat some cheesecake. And, I mean, I don't know if y'all know. I drink beer sometimes. Ginny Fry gets a title fight. We'll see what happens. Ginny Fry getting done here in Kansas City. Truly one of the best at 100 and 5 pounds. All right. Victor, let's see. Publish. Upload that. Upload that. Upload that. All right, one last fight. We got the main event here. I think I could retain viewers if I knew what I was talking about when it comes to female fighting. I don't know who any of these girls are. <laughs> I just like watching fighting. With 15 professional bouts on her record, Italy's Mara Romero Morella makes the walk to the Invicta FC cage for the first time. Representing American top team, Barella has shown an affinity for the finish, earning seven of her ten victories by way of stop pass. Uh, where's Notepad go, guys? Notepad, there it is. She helps to spoil the Invicta FC debut nice. of a UFC Ooh. veteran. Russia's Milana Dudaeva found success in mixed martial arts, fighting her way to an 11 and 5 record. Competing primarily as a bantamweight, Dudaeva made it to the octagon, battling the likes of Marion Renault, Juliana Pena, and she Julian Pena! Down to 125 pounds, as she looks to make a stick. Milana versus you. Milana Dudaeva. 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 I was close. You gotta give that to me. This is Mara Romero Varela. I'm so bad with pronouncing people's names. Dude, they have been overplaying this John Jones versus Daniel Cormier. Daniel Cormier. Dude, they have been overplaying it. It's a good commercial. God, they've been playing it too much. I don't even care no more. People ask me all the time, like, like, don't you want to see John Jones lose? I don't even care anymore, dude. He's he's so screwed up, and he's been around for too long and not done nothing to the point where I'm like, I don't even care, dude. I don't care what happens to him. I kind of wish he would just go away. Like, dude, retire and go off onto a beat somewhere. Same way with Daniel Cormier, though, by the way. Not not a big Daniel Cormier fan. He's kind of got that, like, bro thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he, he throws out bro too much, where it's like, all right, dude, we get it, you're a bro. Go away. I will surprise them. I will do it. I will surprise them. Sorry, my Russian people. I have a terrible Russian accent. I'm an MMA fighter, but I really like to fight on the ground. I come from a judo background, so I really like the grappling aspect of things. She said she works hard for two months, and she want to finish it before judges. So she worked hard, and you will see everything in the cage. The translator is so bad. I'm sorry. The translator is so bad. 
I don't necessarily see myself having a huge advantage in one uh, I work on a rig. I still have two weeks, a bunch of free time. Decent internet connects. I've been catching up on female anywhere. fighters. Crazy how quick the whole field has gained technical skills. Yes, dude. The female fighters, like, four years ago, they looked like they didn't know what was going on. Now it's insane. Like, the submissions they throw, the their punching's getting sharper. Yeah, in a few years, it's insane how fast they've progressed. It's almost to the point if, if they kept if they stayed along this progression, they're gonna bypass male fighters. I'm not saying that to the peace to anybody, I'm saying that for real. If they maintain this progression, they're gonna bypass male fighters in skill as in like female fighting female skill. So you work on a rig, do you work in the Gulf of Mexico? Or where do you work? She is TJ. You know, I'm for the purposes of this fight, I'm gonna call her Mara because I That's all I know. Like the Gulf of Mexico is real big with like natural gas rigs, oil rigs, stuff like that. And now the more attractive women know there's an easy way in. Yes. Okay, you work in West Texas. My buddy who's gonna be watching the uh like one of my buddies who's gonna be watching the uh, Conor McGregor Floyd Mayweather fight with me when I live stream it. Um, he did the same thing. He he worked in Texas. Because I remember when we were younger, he was constantly driving back and forth from Alabama to Texas. And, yeah, it was like a two-week thing. He'd be gone for two weeks, then he'd come back and hang out for a little while. Really good money. I kind of, like, I'm in the military, so, like, sometimes we'll go somewhere for two weeks, sometimes six months, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of, it's, it's kind of like the same thing. I would say, like, that's crazy. You're gone for two weeks on a whole rig, but then, like, I've kind of been there. Been away for a while. Okay, you're from the Houston area. All the guys I work with are from Mississippi. Yeah, dude, they're pulling. For a while there, they were pulling for like Alabama, Mississippi, Tennessee to come work in Texas. Or off the coast of Texas. Gulf of Mexico, basically. I will be in the Gulf of Mexico in, uh, in a week. Love the Gulf of Mexico. I'll be on the beach. I've deployed to Iraq for seven months. It's two weeks. Yeah, dude. Especially when you've been deployed for that long. I have not been deployed for that long. Not seven months. Especially when you've been deployed for that long. Two weeks ain't nothing. But females, which you know this, females, two days. Like if you were going somewhere for two days, that's a lifetime to them. I don't know what it is with them. Like... Me and my last girlfriend broke up because I was going to Guam in the Pacific. I was going for two weeks, just two weeks, and oh, like, I had this female get mad at me. She got mad, like, two weeks, you're going to be going on a tropical island for two weeks. She's like, come on, it's just two weeks. And, and we broke up because of that. <laughs> it's crazy how females, like, me and you were like, yeah, man, it's just two weeks. That, that's like a, a day, you know, like, in my mind, it's like, ah, that ain't nothing. But females, dude, they just, I don't know what it is with them. They're like, two weeks, God bless. <laughs> it's the end of the world. 13 single here, two stands for me for what? More than one relationship. I don't, yeah, I don't understand. I'm, I'm the same age as you. I'm 32. It's still the same thing to me, but it's a good thing at the same time. If a girl can't handle you being gone for two weeks, they ain't going to be, like in my case, they're not going to be able to handle me being gone for four months to six months, you know? Not, that's a good thing. Because I would rather us break up over two weeks than us break up while I'm in the Middle East, you know what I'm saying? That's a terrible place to get broke up with. Mara Borella versus Milana Doeva. I was hoping he'd say her name. Weeding out the wheat. No, that's, that's for real. It's like, hey, can you handle me being gone for more than a day? If they're like, yeah, then that starts the relationship off. And then you're like, hey, can you handle me being gone for six months? And if they're like, nah, you're like, ah, right, get it. See you later. 
Thank you, Max. Three rounds scheduled this in the Invicta FC flag. That's what's crazy, though. Like, the jobs we got, we make good money. You make more. I guarantee you make more money than I do doing the oil rig thing. My cousin's a trucker, so he's gone all the time. But you make good money. You know what I'm saying? And so it's like, hey, I can provide for you. Nobody wants to do these jobs. Nobody wants to do the oil rig jobs. Nobody wants to do the uh, the 18 wheeler jobs. But that, that's why, like, the money's so good. That's why the money's so good. Nobody wants to do those jobs. So, I mean, it's, it's almost like you tell a girl, like, hey, you're going to have money. There's always going to be money in the bank, but I'm not going to be here all the time. You would think girls would jump all over that, but they just don't. It's weird. Not working a regular job because the money isn't worth it. Yeah, dude. Staying home's nice. That's part of the reason, like, I'm in the National Guard, full-time National Guard. It's nice being at home, but so, every once in a while, I gotta go somewhere for a very long time, or a short amount of time. Uh, but stay, staying at home's nice, but the money just ain't as good. Like, if I was active duty, I would be making twice what I made, but I wouldn't, what I make now, but I wouldn't know where I would be, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't know, like, in the world, where am I gonna be? That's kind of the plus. I make less money, but I know where and when I'm going to be deployed, and I know where I'm going to be staying. Whereas active duty guys, they make bank, but they don't know what's going on. They have no clue where they're going to be next day. Any questions? For two weeks a month, so six months off time, make 100 Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I guarantee you make more money. You do make more money than that. Females can't handle that, though. They, they're like, oh, cool. You're going to have $100,000, but you're going to be gone two weeks. We're breaking up. You know, it's like they can't handle that. All right, I got to start recording here. All right, floral red, Barella, Duaeva. God, I got to get that Duaeva. Barella is in the red, Duaeva. Is in the black. They're just staring at each other right now. They're they're like staring at each other doing this. Amanda Nunes. We were talking about her earlier. Tonight. Last year the courts made 35k. The woman in there comment had to be paid. my head, yeah, dude. The infantry is not paid near enough. Nice. So we saw that uh, we saw the, a nice tie up there from I'm gonna say Milan, so I don't mess up Duvieva. Um, but we saw the, the tie up off of the straight run. Oh, nice takedown! Uh, nice takedown! In judo, and she's been able to fight in many fights where the opponent's much bigger than her. So with opponent of a comparable size, I think she's moving for it. Uh, she didn't get. She was moving for uh, submission. Blonde has had two opponents to back out. Really? Do, do I Ava? I think is who you're talking about, the blonde. She kind of looks redheaded almost. She might have dyed her hair though, but. These are some scary looking women. They're pretty like. They're, they're built. Good shape. Possibly, or it might just be she's getting more of a read on her opponent. What I'm really liking is the discipline for striking and for past strikes. And I even said this in the intro. They're just facing off right now. I'm waiting because they both look. Ooh! And they do! I was going to say, they both look like they're about to explode, and they did. One went to fight Cyborg, and she backed out after that, out of that, and the next one, Juan Redhead, was going to fight. Took the first one spot against Cyborg. So apparently nobody wants to fight this girl. They're tagging each other right now. They don't seem like they're swinging with power though. They seem like they're just kind of tagging each other. I could see this one going all three rounds. I don't see this one being stopped because the way. They don't really seem like they're going hard right now. They, they're hitting each other, but it just doesn't seem like they're trying to kill each other. I want the UFC fight, don't blame them. No, I don't, I don't blame them. No, I really don't blame them at all. I'm sitting here in my nice comfy chair, you know, while I'm watching them. I don't blame them all, but I'm saying, like, they both seem timid. She's doing a nice job of cutting off the cage, though, really keeping 
Good body shot. That was not a timid body shot. That was a hard body shot from the, uh, what's her name? Dude, dude I Ava? <laughs> I've lost their name now. I think that's because they didn't have time to make game plan. It probably could be. These lower weight classes are not weight classes, but they, wow, she's got a deep guillotine. God bless. She's picking that girl up. That is deep. I haven't seen a guillotine work in so long, but that is deep, son. Oh, she still got it. Old girl took her to the ground. She still got that guillotine. Yeah. Yeah, she's in half guard. She, she needs to get that full guard. She could wear herself out with that guillotine. She's trying. She's trying to posture up on it. Seems like a waste. Of, yeah, guillotines. I haven't seen one work in so long. John Jones, because of his height, is really good at guillotines. He's one of the last ones. Uh, Versus uh, that that Brazilian guy, I can't remember his name right now, but like he put him in guillotine. He's so tall he can pick up on it like that, and you're just dangling, you know. That's the only one I've seen work a guillotine well. Lyoto Machida, is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, everyone does know how to defend him now. If you could use a guillotine without like wasting energy and trying to squeeze the neck. If you could just hold that grip, it's effective because you you basically just cancel out anything they want to do, you know. All right, first run over. You're seeing like the beginning of me watching fights live and posting them to the internet. I'm eventually gonna get to. I'm eventually gonna get to. I'm so good that I can do it, and you won't even know what I'm doing. I'm just click, click, click. You know. But like right now, I'm. I'm like asking y'all, like, holy crap, how do I do this? How do I do that? Oh, uh. Uh, Milena or whatever, she's doing a really good job right now. She took one, round one. That was a very tight guillotine. Very nasty guillotine. But it still didn't work. I like how she's like... I don't know really what I'm, she's like me. I don't know what I'm talking about, so tell me. You know, she's like, tweet at me. Tell me what's wrong. When they're both face up, yeah. Dude, that other girl looks so much bigger. But she's just not doing good. Tomorrow's special time, the UFC is live from Glasgow, Scotland, as Iceland's Gunnar Nelson and Argentina's Santiago Ponte. He said that. Is it not Gunnar Nelson? He said Gunnar. Gunnar Nelson. Sounds like it should have O in it, the way he said it. Tomorrow at 3 in the East, with Quillen starting at UFC Fight Pass. That new. Ooh, takedown. She thought she was going to get hit. Shot for a takedown. So you can see the Italian reaching over and then not, oh, she's reaching over the head. Oh, that's that's one of those things we watch for. It's kind of a pet peeve of mine. Sometimes it works if you have nice judo tosses, but a lot of times it gives up the back. It's not effective for her in this case, but she's getting some punches over there. However, Milano Yeah, she's trying that, like, judo toss, but it's, it's not working at all. And I don't understand that girl's so much bigger and stronger. She just can't, like, enforce her will, basically. Just like our city. Hey, Stress Hall, but I got some more. Oh, I see what you're saying. That name, though, is Gunner. To me, to us, basically. That name is Gunner. Gunner Nelson. Wow. Crucifix. She lost it. She had the crucifix. She lost it. She is, and this is where I said, this is where you really needs to stay scrambling. Put that word in your lexicon of, of, of like, what you need to think about. What is your own body? 
personal opinion, I find that is a very dangerous thing to do. We've seen that in past fights. Whether or not that's technique or that's just the size of her opponents, it's not a position that she's done well and she's recovered from. Now he's going to try <laughs> Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> ah, she, she keeps pulling it. Oh, she lost it. Ooh, going for the ankle lock. Dude, the females are so much more. The females are constantly trying to get that submission. Constantly. Whereas the males, they just want to knock somebody out. They want to knock somebody out or beat them up on the ground. Females are constantly going for those submissions. I wish we could get to the point where where we had either like a fighter who, like George St. Pierre. George St. Pierre was either going for the knockout, and if he knew he couldn't get it, he'd switch the submission. He'd switch back to the knockout. He mixed it up so much. You don't see that much anymore. And the females, they do that. They're trying submissions, all kind of stuff. And if they can't get them, they'll go to punching. If they can't get that, they'll go back to submissions. Sounds like a quarterback's <laughs> name at football. <laughs> That's crazy. Italy versus Russia. Italy's winning right now because Italy is on top of Russia beating her head in. So their guard games are way better than their striking. As far as the females go, yes. When they get on the ground, they look like professional, like high level, like better than the men. They look like high level jujitsu wrestling artists. When they're on, when they're on the feet, it doesn't look that good. Read one comment up. I think that's the easiest way for women to get in training. They don't go to boxing gyms, kitchen box gym. I understand that, and I think part of that is like, especially in the South, women are all about their physical appearance and all that. So they don't want to, they don't want to go in a gym and get beat up and get scarred up and all that. So yeah, wrestling, all that, jujitsu. You don't have to get. You, you're not gonna get like scarred up in the face as much as you would like boxing, kicks boxes. I, I do. I agree with you on that one. But at the same time, like if you're a female fighter, if you could learn how to like, if you could learn how to strike really well, but also be a really good like learn jujitsu, kickboxing, jujitsu. That's all you need. You would have both of the best worlds in uh, female MMA. Ten minutes. The time. Yeah, it's it's even now. Old Russian won the first round. Old Italian won the second round. Even fight now. I don't know if I've ever seen, like, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know if I've ever seen an Italian fighter, like I'm talking about actually from Italy, MMA fighter. I don't know if I've ever seen that. This is probably the first time I've ever seen that. That's what I think. Rose Amanunez is legit. She can punch with the best of them. She has a ground game. I can't remember what her record is. I'm going to look up her record. I, I love me some Rose. Oh, God. I spelled that wrong. Get out of my way, Mike. Killing me. Pump on the forehead there of Duda Ava. She was feeling it. Uh, I mean, she's she's worse for the wear a little bit after that second round. We'll see what happens. Court again, again. and boom. Like um, it's an indication that either they're tired. Can't or they're remember what her record is. is. She is Rose is very attractive. Can't remember what her record is. That makes her hard for her. Look for the record. There we go. She's doing all right. It's like five, uh, six, six wins, three losses. Doing pretty good. Let's see, she's got missions, 
She's got a lot of submissions. Which, I mean, I understand that's... A lot of the female fighters have a lot of submission wins. Ooh! Tiger Girl just took Russian Girl down. Tiger Girl's on top of all Russian Girl. I'm waiting for like... <laughs> Because I've been posting a lot of videos. I'm waiting for the people to unsubscribe. Like, you can turn off the notifications and you'll never know if I post a video. Unless you go into YouTube and it'll be like, hey, old dude man, post a video. Wow, Italian girls rain down shots. Another one done, boss. Another one done. That's what McGregor says every time he beats uh, an afford. Tells Dana. Another one done, boss. Moana. Moana. Ooh, she's throwing out. Oh! She didn't get it. She's throwing out that arm bar. Yep. She did. She's going to get out of it, though. Ooh, that arm bar! Uh, Russian girl's got Italian girl in a triangle right now. Ooh, and her arm looks nasty. Oh, she's going to slam her. She slammed her. Holy crap. Italian girl slammed Russian girl. I think she's getting choked out, though. I don't see how she's not slipping out right now. Dude, that triangle. She's been holding that triangle for a minute. Ooh, she's about to flip her over. Oh, she got out of it. Old Italian girl got out of it. That's crazy. She gets mount again to maybe work more for the strike. I like when she steps her knee over the Very very technical it is Gorilla on top here and able to isolate that arm to see if she can rain down some punches or elbows as Duda Ava is largely defensive uh, defenseless with that arm trap. She is, but again, Mara Yeah, she's got her like in a half crucifix type set type thing. One knee over the other girl's arm pinning it down. Ooh, she's trying to Kamora. Ooh, that looks nasty, but she's on. That was an illegal knee that just happened. Uh, I would say that was intentional. That looked very intentional. Oh, almost back to full mount. Oh, Italian girl. Italian girl is going to take the third. Uh, Russian girl got the first, Italian girl got the second, Italian girl's about to take the third. Mara Romero Morella on top of Lana Dudaeva, 70 seconds left in this very important Ooh, full mount. final round. Almost. Just got to get that angle out. Quarter guard. <laughs> Ooh, elbow. Right arm. Ooh, full mount. Let's see if she can do something. Can you do something with it? Forty-two seconds to go. She's got full mount. Can she do something with it? Scramble City, Kansas City. Ooh, ooh. Tang. Oh, a tang worker. Oh. Oh, now Russian girl's on top, but she's in a nasty triangle. She is in a nasty triangle. Russian girl's in it. Yeah, dude, this is illegal. The Russian girl's kicking that girl in the head. They're both on the ground. That's so illegal. I don't see how the ref's not saying nothing. That's crazy, dude. Russian girl, they're both on the ground trying to get like an ankle lock. Russian girl was kicking her in the head. Now they're hugging. <laughs> that was so illegal what that Russian girl was doing. I'm sorry. That's so illegal. I sound like a Canadian always apologizing for other people's mistakes. I'm sorry. That girl punched that other girl in the head. I'm sorry.
fight. Two debuting fighters in our main event, both nice additions to this flyweight roster. And as you said, match up very I think on uh, Italian girl won. I think she won the second and third round. She lost the first round. I think she won the second and third round. It was also a technical fight, and I have a lot to take away from that. A technical fight, and a fight out there for you. It was very technical. They were very, they did not waste any energy. When they were doing something, it had a purpose. They were not wasting energy. But old, old Italian girl won. I don't remember her name. Thanks, Skinny. You gotta work. Crack the dog. Subscribe. Hey, man, appreciate it for the subscribe. Appreciate you. Hey, good luck at work. Have a good day tomorrow. I got two days off, now I gotta go back to work. So that she won't get full extension of that arm. Interesting arm bar defense. It works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't, but I think there's enough time left. Oh, I'm gonna, uh, if you're still here, I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow. Uh, the Gunner Nelson fight. I'll be streaming that, talking about it, blah, 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 whatever. That one's gonna be on, like, tighter restrictions. You're not gonna see that one, uh, on the internet as much. From what I, what I know about the UFC. They, they don't really care that much about this, because it's the Invicta. But that's actual like UFC fight nights. It's much harder to see on on uh, the internet. So tune in, I'll be talking about it. But if you can find a live stream of it, let us up. So I can be talking, running my mouth, and you can be watching the actual fight. Oh, Italian girls got it! Barella! That's it. Ross Swanberg has it 29 28 for your winner by split decision. Mara! Ha! Tiger guy! Flip the chair! Tiger guy! Alright, chair's coming back. Mara Romero Romero. Mara Romero Romero! Alright. How do you say that? My goodness, I would hate to be an announcer. This is why the UFC ain't never going to hire me. Because I can't pronounce nobody's name. You can say, like, say Dave Clark. And I'd be like, David Plusnaka. They'd be like, no, Dave Clark. Be like, I don't know what you're saying. You're speaking a foreign language to me. What does that mean? Alright, guys. I'm going to shut down the stream here. Appreciate y'all watching. My God, it's gone for three hours. My goodness. Appreciate y'all watching, man. Appreciate y'all sticking with me. Subscribe to my channel. You're going to get more. Uh, tomorrow's the Gunnar Nelson, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then Mayweather, uh, McGregor. I'm going to be streaming that August 27th. Appreciate y'all watching. No lie.